The following podcast contains strong language, nudity, graphic violence, and really bad dialogue. Viewer discretion is advised. Didn't your parents teach you not to stare? Didn't your parents teach you not to get dressed in the street? Oh, yeah. Four guys and a movie. Four guys and a movie. Don't I pray and rub at your reviewing movies for the show. Four guys and a movie. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Four Guys in a Movie podcast. The movie podcast about... Movies, really high quality snacks movies. Uh, yeah, and all <laughs> things nerdy. I am your host, Rob the Hobgoblin Knoblobbler, joined with my museum exhibits. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're off the cuff here. <laughs> yeah, Tony that is just, just broke, a gape. That broke Tony. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, broken Tony. I'll just go with that. <clears throat> so, Brony for short. Uh, I am Brickathalamus. I'm just not participating in this. <laughs> but your name is? John. Okay. I'm the dreaded monster, Kajoga. Kajoga. <laughs> From the Amazon jungle. It's our little birthday boy. Mm-hmm. Our little, little, little sweet little cuppy cakey birthday. Give me your hypothalamus. <laughs> I already gave it to somebody else last year. Bleh. That's why I can't hold an erection. Um, so. Huh. Okay. That's not why. <laughs> <laughs> we should definitely put out a version of last Christmas I gave you my hypothalamus. <laughs> and the very next day, used your giant cum drizzled pinchers to <laughs> cut my head off. We'll work on it. We'll work on it. <laughs> this year, the cum drizzled pincers or the song? Tears, I'll kill you in a museum. <laughs> That's got a good ring to it. Kill you in a museum. Better. Yeah. A, a, a whole giant museum that you'll only ever see three rooms of. Right. Yes. Well, you know, the character of the superstition exhibit. <laughs> and yes. just a bunch of fucking dark tunnels. Yes. Yeah, I was, hey. was going to say to that point, we might see a whole lot more of the museum, but we don't see any of the fucking museum because mm. it's all dark, who could tell? You know yep. what we did see? The Relic uh, from 1997. Right at all. Who everybody here has seen The Relic? <laughs> Previously, I'd, I'd seen, seen it before. I did not know this movie existed. I would swear we saw this in theaters together. I maybe it was too early. Don't think so. Yeah. It was like okay. I usually well, don't forget a movie I saw in the theater, but I honestly, I think I could have forgotten this entire movie. <laughs> I have a little nugget of confession rolling down my leg and out my pants. You don't remember? This? No, I do remember it, but <laughs> I put this on our list. Because I thought this movie was one of those fun little monster movies that was like, you know... Uh, it's it's a monster movie. Yeah. Like a guilty pleasure. <laughs> it's not, though. It's like a monster after 90 minutes movie. There's there's a monster in it. And it's a movie. The monster is called Dialogue. <laughs> yeah. Exposition. It's a monster in the same way that uh, Congo had like killer monkeys. Like they show up eventually, but oh, who gives I a remember this didn't even have sesame. Didn't even have a giant fucking laser to nuke them all yeah. with either. Or Amy, good gorilla, tickle oh, Amy, tickle Amy, tickle my me, Amy. Drink. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> kind of glad I don't think I've seen that movie. Congo again? No, <laughs> no, it was just don't as bad. touch it's... my sesame yeah. cake. <laughs> Stop I, eating. I think Stop no. This this is showing. Kids. Yeah, the difference is this movie. We are so bored. We're thinking yeah. fondly on Congo. Yeah, we're, we're trying so hard to just not even talk I mean, about it. Yeah, no shade to Tom Sizemore, but they had Bruce fucking Campbell. Mm. Come on, for like Ernie Hudson. Tim Curry do, doing he, God knows what yeah, with an yeah. Just Tim. Just being Tim Curry. Um, but that's not what we watched, guys. No, I was no. going to say, I don't remember any of those people in this movie. They no. weren't. Uh, <clears throat> nor was there a masturbatory gorilla that had a weird kink fetish for... 
might have been. In there. Would any of those things have made this movie better? If there, so if there was a gorilla in this movie for no reason, constantly <laughs> demanding that other people tickle her. Yes, I think that automatically raises it a star. Instantly better. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway, movie now. Yeah. What about, what about this actual film, though? All right. Um. So yeah, uh, we already said you know Relic, nineteen ninety seven. Uh, Peter Haynes, uh, who. He's uh he's he's nobody new to this podcast. No, uh, no. Um, What's his name? Hames. Yes. Who? Uh, you know what I love for Easter? Some Hames. <laughs> <laughs> Get me a couple Easter Hames. <laughs> hot Hames sandwich. Hot yes. Hames. Put a hot honey Hames. <laughs> Again, this is one of those spots where like I. I feel someone should be offended by that accent, but I don't know who. I know you never do, but that's all right. Get offended. (laughs) Write us about it. The4ampodcast at gmail.com. Show us that you're there. I'll read it on the air. Leave us a voicemail, because I want to hear that accent. Don't think our voicemail. Ripping us a new asshole. But here's the thing. It'll Mm. never be a person with that accent getting offended. It'll be someone that also does not know what accent that is It'll be someone that chooses to get offended on someone else's behalf. Uh, yeah, but uh, he directed it. some other movies that might mm-hmm. help explain some things. Uh, the Hamlet. He did no. He did uh, Time Cop. Oh. Sudden Death. Time Cop. Oh. End of Days. Oh. Sound of Thunder. Oh. And stay direct- tuned. How come he got to keep making movies? <laughs> like when Stay Tuned is the best one on that list. Did we do How- Sound of Thunder? No, no, not yet. That is a Michael Crichton joint, though, right? Uh, or am I thinking they put his it... name on it? <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> Same way you did the X Files. Yeah. Okay. Where did my vodka go? <laughs> <laughs> my hot hay water. All right. So, um, I think yeah, we did kind of skirt around this already, but this movie was based on a book, um, not by Michael Crichton, not by Michael Crichton, yeah. Douglas Preston and Lincoln Child. Even though it was, like, it was like the Mandela effect. When I told people at work that we were doing this movie, they were like, "Oh, that's the Michael Crichton novel, right?" And I'm like, "Yeah, mm. yeah." Well, because this also this 100%. movie clearly was like the uh, that period where everyone was making Michael right. Crichton books, like they were making Harry Potter books, and then they started doing like Maze Runner and Insurrection, whatever the fuck. <laughs> I don't know. Farscape. It's got kids that, in it. Uh, Green Brian. light. Yeah. Um. Uh, they had a hard time finding a place to film this movie because, surprisingly, the museum people don't come off very well. And they were also afraid it would uh, scare off children from visiting museums. Mm. You know, mm. since they kind of, like, almost die. That's true. And usually you can't keep those kids out of the museums. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I wish those kids wouldn't be there so I could enjoy the museum that's right. more. Somebody hand me a Skippy bar. Also, uh, Stan Winston Creature Shop came up with the... Uh, huh. creature from then his movie. I don't know what else to call it. The Katoga. Which, the Katoga, Katoga. Thank you. There you go. Um, the Pred Alien. Yeah. Which the studios took great, uh, you know, measures to keep this under wraps so it would be, you know, a surprise to everyone. As in their words, <clears throat> like Jurassic Park. Uh huh. Even though. It's just a dinosaur with a predator head on it. <laughs> well, there's a little more to it than that. I I, I kind of like it. We'll get to that later. Uh, Want to guess at the budget this movie had? Hmm. I think I know, so I'm going to guess last. That's too much. Hmm. 30. 50 million. I'll go 40. I'm going to let John have it, because I think it is 40 million. It is 40 million. Hmm. Well done. I'm uh, going to let John have it, too. John! <laughs> I'm going to let John Come at me, bro. How many vodka swamp waters have you had so far? This is my second. It's been very light on the vodka. Mm -hmm. Still swamp water. It is swamp water. Oh, heavy on the swamp water. (laughs) Want to guess how much money this movie made? Two (laughs) Hames. John Hames. Express the the intake in millions of Hames. (laughs) 32 million Hames plus one Torky. I think this... Flopped. I'd be upset if it didn't. Um, I will. I will guess 
20 million heim. Um, 60. I'm pretty sure it's 33 million heim. So it I is indeed. Oh, yes. wow. Rob, I have it. So, yeah, not, not that good. Um, oh, yeah, I, I forgot one of the things I was going to do, but it doesn't matter. Uh, they, they thought this movie would flop because it... <laughs> Has, look at it. Well, also it has like <laughs> they it. no known actors. Really. I mean, Tom Sizemore is pretty big now, but like back then, yeah, that was before Saving Private it, Ryan and whatever the other yeah, movie. He was it in. wasn't the actors that fucked the movie up. It was the movie no, that fucked the movie. I up. understand, but like <laughs> if you had this shit movie, but uh, like Tom Cruise was the lieutenant, it would still would have be done better. Again. <laughs> that probably too, but uh, it probably would have pulled in a little more money. What if Tom but, Cruise was the monster? He is a monster. That would have well, been yeah, interesting. But the, the, but the Kathoga monster. Mm. Yeah. Like, I mean, I mean, if he gets enough to eat, I think he can. Like, yeah. in a costume or just him just running around eating brains? Well, it starts as him. And then it, we just slowly put more prosthetics on him. I'm, I'm stilts, in for it. He like, hunts you with an Like, like in Colony. A film we saw earlier today. Yeah, that guard sits down. He's like, this thing's got to be like four feet tall. Yeah. <laughs> By the end, you know, they're in like a... Like a horsey costume with like Nicole Kidman's the back end. <laughs> oh, be great. Poor Nicole Kidman. <laughs> mm. It's alright. She's got her bugs. All right. So, um, oh, who's in this movie, by the way? Yeah. So that's my next not thing. any other people we were just talking yeah. about. So <laughs> the, Tom Sizemore. Yeah, you, you got Tom Sizemore before he became relatively well known. And you have uh, Penelope Ann Miller looking a lot like Joan Cusack in this movie to me. Uh, I don't know. I would say she looks had the glasses more, on. She looks more like just every other lady in a mid nineties yeah. monster yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> style movie. Like. Which character are you, Doctor Green? She's not blonde. Neither is Joan Cusack. She's the talk show host. Nope. Oh God. Show host from what? I know where he's what? going. Oh, it's not Joan you? Rivers. D- Joan oh, Rivers. <laughs> Wait. It's also, not a million what? years old and dead. Oh my god. <laughs> Yet. Yet. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Choking on my swamp water. Mm. We told the listeners what we're drink- <coughs> no, drinking. Swamp no, water. We, no, we haven't. It's, no, it's killing me, but it's it's, it's a good swamp death. water. I think that's all I need to know. Killing you sweetly. Yeah. Uh, in, no, in honor of Joe's 43rd birthday, Woo. I dredge the swamps for an ecto cooler punch. Ooh. It is ecto cooler and with, punch <laughs> with uh, some Sprite and some lime sherbet. It's pretty dang good. And it looks like swamp water. It does. Sure the does. layer of yeah. scum floating on the top is amazing. And delicious. Rob's particular glass of swamp water. Is spiked with vodka. It has. We need to take a picture uh, of that. I did like, take a picture. Okay. Yes. Um, did you take a picture. Before mine has some vodka in it. Yeah. Melted before or, we. Uh, well, yeah, we, it. we yeah. Take a picture of it it's, in its current state. It's nice. Like swamp water. Yeah, it is getting grosser as we take more out of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's starting to turn a little brown. <laughs> when it when it initially was brought out, like you could tell that there were nice scoops of lime ice cream mm-hmm. on top, like. Marshmallows on hot chocolate, they have they have turned to ooze. It, unlike it's, marshmallows it's just a gross hot, foam now. Yeah. It's just pond scum. Yeah, yeah. Un- yeah. unlike marshmallows and hot chocolate, like, you can't there... really tell it's edible anymore. <laughs> there might be turtles living in there. Yeah. Oh, I don't think anything can survive in there. No. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so before we go into uh, anything else, or well, we said Tom. Yeah, Stiles, we're no, going we, to we're we're do the whole cast here. Mm-hmm. Or is that is there, cast? Who's the old guy in the wheelchair? I know I've seen him before. Uh, James Whitmore, but I thought he was Lloyd Bridges when he first got wheeled <laughs> wow, out. Okay. He, no, he does look like Lloyd I, yeah, No, I get does. it. I get it. By this time, his lungs were aching for air. And, and a, po- a returning podcast. Uh, yeah. The, the beautiful Linda Hunt. Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, this time, she was, she's the, you know, a, a fairly nice person. She's she's a little greedy, but she's not, like, whipping people to death. Yeah, we know of. Um, but yeah, I forget what her character's name was, but she's the, the museum Edna curator. Moan. What's that? Edna Moan. Edna Moan. Moan. <laughs> That's her poor name. <laughs> well, close enough. And yes. I don't... It does happen. I don't think she was the curator. I think the old dude was named the curator. The docent? The yeah, docent? maybe. Something like that. I don't know. Dosey docent. Who knows? Who cares? Whatever. 
Not yeah. She was the old she bitch in the library. She was in a position <laughs> of authority. Yes. yes. The yes. museum. She mm. was the knight at the she museum. She could have been like the director, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Somebody that worked at the museum. Doesn't matter. She <laughs> was the whatever character in Jaws, which is what this movie <clears> is. All right. <throat> no, that wasn't even her, though. It was the other dude that was like the mayor that was all like, we can't close uh, it down because it's important for me and my wife's titties. Yeah, yeah literally. Yeah. But anyway, titties. we haven't gotten there yet. Yeah. All right. Right now, we're just on fire. This movie starts, the credits are on fire. Yeah, but before we get into the movie. Uh-huh. Speaking of fire. Yeah, we got some shit to take care of. Oh. Real quick. Come on, Robert. Where'd I put the bag? I'll set you right up. You did set me up. All right. We got some stuff. There is try even quick. more snacks in this room. Yeah, there's more snacks. We just have to try these real quick. Like. Okay. The, the, for Joe's birthday, Rob refuses your uh, request this. to put off just to get you. I got <laughs> Applejack Pop-Tarts. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay, we do have to try those. <laughs> I'm going to let you know now they're disappointing. I did try yep. them already, so I'll just put those there. These are hot mustard Doritos. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, thank you. They keep fucking with Doritos. For we me. do. They do. I didn't. Mm-hmm. And these are uh, Trader Joe's oh, brand Snacky Clusters. Snacky Clusters. It is potato <laughs> chips, uh, Fritos, and pretzel nuggets in chocolate. Is this what they do with, like, expired goods? They just kind of crush it up and yes, put yes. chocolate on it, and they're like, yes. sell it. <laughs> I had from Trader Joe's the other day, I had some Enchanted Jangle. Yeah. Oh. Which is just a bunch of candies that I'm not excited about mixed together. Oh, God. That's a, that's a repugnant well, shot of the, the swamp water you got there. That's, oof. All right. Mm. Uh, That's like she I really should badge. not eat another uh, eat a pot. I'm pretty sure I'm she gonna, holds badge is way better than right. the oh, Who's veg? She hulk. Oh. Um, yeah, I think this is what. Yeah. 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 Discharge. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. <laughs> so we're we're passing uh, around some snacky things. <laughs> I'm I'm just doing that. Yeah, buddy. Um. Um. Okay. I'm afraid of those. Joe started with uh, some... I'm not afraid of many things in this world, but I'm afraid of those. So they're not spicy. Snacky clusters. Like at all. Oh, Rob already dived. I just ate one. They're lying to no, us right fine. off the Do bat it. when they say No, so it's, it's it tastes like wasabi Ooh. to me. That's like a wasabi flavor. And wasabi's not spicy? I mean, not, not in the way they're advertising. Mm. It has the flavor of wasabi, but not the heat of yeah. wasabi. Okay, yeah, no, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah. it's not bad. That definitely is, yeah. Well, no, no. That is not hot, though. It's different. Yeah. It's not particularly hot. I don't no, think I'd want a whole tangy. bag of this. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I mean, again, for most of the shit, though, it's like, I, if I want Doritos, I'll just fucking get Doritos. I don't it's, need... It's not going to keep yeah. me from uttering racisms. Yeah, like every other <laughs> type of Dorito. Would anything? Racisms, sexisms, yeah. oldisms. Also, tisms. folks listening, tisms. any tisms. Remember, these are the Doritos we have for the rest of this movie, so proceed with caution. And remember, I'm highly autistic. So really, if you judge me, it's your fault. It's another tism. <laughs> yeah. Well, we uh, we want to try these snacky clusters? Wow. Do it. I got right. one. It's going in my mouth. I ain't. Put snacky it cluster it is. Where we got it in his mouth. Where, 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 somebody get Brick a snacky cluster. Brick's got a snacky yeah. cluster. John going in for one. Yeah, all right, doing it. Rob, already have it or? Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. So it okay. doesn't right. taste that bad, but it tastes like I dropped mm. it on the floor. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it feels that gritty. Mm. So there's a lot going on in there. You remember in Wonka's Willie and the Chocolate Factory when they're having like what? Yeah, you remember in Wonka's Willie and the Chocolate Factory? <laughs> I, uh, um, declined to watch that film. When Charlize <laughs> is on her knees, the porn period. Like, yeah, you want to break the great glass ceiling? You better I keep suck turning this blue. Dick. Um, no, where they're like they shoved it down her throat till she turned blue. They're tasting this candy Violet's that is like an entire meal. And as she's chewing it, oh, it's gum, I think. And it's like, oh, and here comes the gravy, and now for dessert, and all this other crap. the gravy. Mm, yeah, buddy. Augustus got glooped. <laughs> Bukaki. <laughs> Oompa gloompa. So um, this reminds me of that in the sense that as I was chewing it, 
I started picking out the individual um, discarded candy stuff that they put in there, mm. junk food stuff, and it, it just it screwed with me because I'm not used to distinct flavors popping out of a single a single mm. nugget of junk food. That's fair. Also, do you remember when they said uh, for a great taste combination, you should have chocolate, pretzels, and hot mustard? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, I, I should not have had them in this order. It did not work out well. Does for anybody me. want to break up? A we'll Apple cleanse Jack your palate with some swamp water and try, that. I'll have try I, this. I don't know Apple. that's gonna do <laughs> what you think it's gonna do, but I'm. So, I think this will be mm. the first time that I've had a pop tart in thirty years. Oh, well, you picked a, a bad champion yeah, you picked to represent pop tarts. <laughs> picked a bad start. Just break yeah. break you off a piece yeah. of that. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, just looking at that that filling, that's you can tell it's going to be disappointment. <laughs> it it's this kind of like neon yellowish kind of dealy that gonna... right. looks <clears throat> the tip it of my looks tongue. like bad cheese that you would get at a. It's the um, color of the fish gasoline. eggs that they put on sushi. Oh, the tip of Tabico. my tongue has been stripped of all of its taste buds <laughs> thanks to these wasabi ass <laughs> Doritos. So I'm just going to be really aggressive toward Asians for the rest of this episode. <laughs> Okay, so I will start by just saying, uh, you know what? I appreciate a good pop tart, but let's be honest, most of them are kind of disappointing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this doesn't taste anything like Apple Jacks. I don't mm. taste apple or cinnamon in this. I, mean, I do actually. There's a little this cinnamon. Is, this is actually. Would you describe pretty... it as appleicious and cinnamon credible? No, but neither were Apple Jacks. So no, what, yeah. what was Apple Jacks? Shit. <laughs> 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 like I, I would can, rather have a brown cinnamon pop tart. Oh this, yeah, this tastes like a imitation cinnamon apple pie with all of the happiness taken out of yeah. it. <laughs> so, <clears throat> do you do you guys ever want to do like a tier list of pop tarts, or you think it would just be mm. S brown sugar cinnamon C through D everything else? Pretty much. I think s'mores would be yeah. maybe A. I will try almost anything you want me to eat. I will... S- <laughs> <laughs> I will try and get away from that comment by saying I do kind of get the, the Apple Jacks taste, but it tastes more like somebody had like cleaned up after their kid and they missed one of the little the little loops and they stepped on it. And then after a while, they scraped it off their shoe and spread it out over a pastry. Wow. All right. So. Like wow. It's, it's, it's faint, and it's kind of a waste. Apple Jacks Pop-Tarts, guys. Pass or fail? Fail. Fail. I liked it. Yeah. It tastes yeah. like everything um, that I don't want. Like, all the parts of a Pop-Tart I'm not excited about without any of the parts that I am excited about. Okay. Trader Joe's Here. Snacky Clusters. Pass or fail? Mmm. Give it a light like, pass. They'll pass, yeah. yeah. Like, I'd eat them, but that would not be the first thing that I'd reach for. Yeah. All right. Hot mustard Doritos. Pass yeah. or fail? No, these are pretty freaking good. Uh, yeah, surprisingly, I'll pass them. Yeah, I'm going to pass on them, too. Well, it's pass fail, not pass on them. No, that's right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, the fail for uh, you? Too much swamp water. I'm going to say <laughs> fail, because just they don't, they feel ir- irrelevant to me. That's fair. Irrelevant. <laughs> That's fair. Um, they're honestly, they're getting a fail for me, too. Hmm. I just don't need that in my life. Mm-hmm. I don't like wasabi-flavored things. And now, like, the front of my tongue is, like, I can't taste anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that maybe dangles. it's because I only had one. Mm. Yeah. So, um, do we want to talk about this? Uh, well, I think we've got one, we oh, got one, one more thing here. One more, and then we'll talk about One this. more that we can procrastinate from talking about this bad movie. nothing happens until movie. the very end. we got so here we some wild it. protein chips. Wild with a silent E. Yes, with a or, silent E. Or is that will they? Will they? No, I think it's supposed to be wild. Will they suck? Um, to go and with they, it, <laughs> wild they are chips that are made out of chicken breast, egg whites, and bone broth. But no ham. So they're dog uh, chews. They, maybe they'll have a ham flavor eventually. <laughs> they I, claim to be crafted from real ingredients, as if that's possible to fail. <laughs> well, I mean, um, that's McDonald's has proven it is. Yeah. No, well, I mean, those are still ingredients. Yeah. They're not. They're not good ones. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess it depends yeah. on your they definition. They conjure them from the aether. But Rob has raised a good point. 
Are you certain these are intended for humans? They were not in the dog treat section. Okay. Although they do Just, look like dogs. Yeah, they, <laughs> they certainly sounded like them. I... The thinnest jerky imaginable. Mm. All right. These what? look like cassava chips. What is that? Are you going to have one or no? No, it's meat. Yeah. Uh, at this point, I have no idea what you put in your that's, body. That's that's fair. That is fair. <laughs> Thank you for asking. A couple of months ago, I was from what he said earlier, he's going to show you. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. John is grimacing. Hey, John. That? Are you sure? Because <laughs> these taste like dog food. Yeah, they do. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to keep eating them because I put my hands on them. Yeah. These are not good. <laughs> I mean, they're it's not. They're not horrible. They're not miserable. But they're close. I think it's only but. because I own, like, the ones I've had are so salty. That all I taste is the salt at this point? I definitely taste the chicken. The, the ingredients list here, first ingredient is antibiotic-free chicken breast. I, taste Second, that. I thought you were going to say antibiotics. Just Second, like no. <laughs> Second ingredient is native tapioca starch. Mm-hmm. I think I'm what does that, that too. mean? And then high no one knows. olic sunflower oil. And then we just won't go the rest of the way through. Yeah, I, I taste... Old chicken skin and it's, grit. It tastes, it's grit. Yeah, it's dried <laughs> out yeah. chicken. It's, yeah. yeah. And salt. Yep. Yeah. Mm. All right. Um, okay. Yeah. So this movie. Um, mm. All right. Are we giving these a pass or a fail? That's a fail. I'd yeah, rather fail. have a bag of pork rinds. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Very true. Yeah, I don't know if I'd agree with that one, but I, I it's do It's almost like you shouldn't make it. potato chips out of chicken. Right. Almost. Right. Chicken chips. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I just got hit with shrapnel. <laughs> you, just, you got chicken. Yeah. John is wilding out. Funny yeah. story about shrapnel. Mm. Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> the credits are on fire. Yep. Yeah. Sorry. These uh these hot mustard Doritos they they do get better as you eat more of them. I'll say that. We we are we we are smash smashed into Doug Preston's. Boogity boogity hoop de doo review. Yeah, we got <laughs> burning credits. We got some people going like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is the most like unga bunga, silly mugilly. Right. Okay. Fat chat discussion time. More fat you chat are, discussion time. You are time. at, <laughs> you're in some, you know, natives domain. You know, you're. Am you are I eating the monkey brains. Their customary yes. food, which you've already like, which you know is gonna it never happen to any of the fat chat yeah. members. Well, yeah, here. but still, you, someone's offering you food that you know is gonna be sus. Yeah, but well, you're a guest there. Mm. It's one hundred percent gonna give you diarrhea. So, well, yeah, yeah it's, I mean that's that's a lot of food. It's, you're lucky if that's all know, it does. And yeah. I've genuinely wrestled with this question mm-hmm. before because. I have a very sensitive tummy mm-hmm. and an even more sensitive a gag reflex. Mm. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> Much to John's oh, that's chagrin. Good. That's, that's um, good to know. Never get all the way there. No. Not that I would notice. Um, but <laughs> so, yeah, because the chances are very good that I would just spray vom mm-hmm. anything I attempted to eat if it was like made a. So you would you'd risk or... the fat chat foul, which is probably going to be delivered on the end of an arrow or spear. Oh, yeah, I would die. Oh, yeah. I would super die. Yeah, mm-hmm. they'd be eating my fat ass. And then they would spray vom. Yeah, they would. <laughs> but you, you'll die by <laughs> the spear like rather than mustard. dying by vomiting and diarrhea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, would take, I, would t- I would take the spear. At this point, I'm picturing you... <laughs> I'd s- take the ban. I'm picturing you spinning around on the ground with vomit and diarrhea coming out both ends like yeah. a terrible... Pinwheel on a spit. <laughs> so, uh, so yes, do go on though. You, are you asking okay. if we risk? Yeah, I mean that—that's my thing because you're looking at this tea. They're just shoving giant, dirty leaves in there. It's boiling water. It's gonna. Yeah, I mean, like, if, if it's just tea, uh, apparently not. <laughs> I don't. That's, that's how you prepare leeks. You got to get all the the bitter shit out of there. Yeah, I don't. I could I don't probably mess be okay with, with just leaks. tea, like hot hot mm-hmm. grass water. <laughs> 
I could probably manage as long as there's no mushrooms in there. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll See, dead ass throw that they, shit up. They added the leaves to the pot. You don't know what else was in the pot just before water. they did. That. They probably peed in it. Was it was just yeah. pee. Does no one know how to fake it for crying out loud? What do you mean fake it? Like I mean, just... like O face? Like what yeah, you go yeah. just put it to your lips, yeah. but don't let it in. Yeah, close your <laughs> close your mouth. No, because they mm -hmm. put the shit in there that they would they would know if he didn't yeah. drink. Oh it. yeah, because yeah, he was he's, like, he's you're supposed mm -hmm. to be turning into a monster. Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> well shit, like... maybe. Um, so anthropologist wise, yeah, I really mm -hmm. doubt. He would have done that if he was actually a professional anthropologist. What, taking part done in what? a native ceremony? Sure. He would done that if he was trying to observe them well, without having a pre-existing relationship. He probably would have watched someone else drink it yes. first, but they probably fooled him where people have drank it before. And, you know, mm. this is the, the one that's laced with the... Uh, Magic like, leaves. It may also be the only drinkable water in the area. Mm -hmm. That that whole scene, I was just like, he doesn't know much of anything about these people. Yeah, they have no. Inter Do we know that though? They're he's pretty... been gone for months. He sought them out. Hmm. Well, you could seek them out, but like, there's there's degrees of having relationships with. I don't the know. People. He's an anthropologist that found sought them out and found them. I think he knows stuff about them. He saw but that I old think... lady's titties. <laughs> I Everybody think, saw the old Yeah, I think what right. Brick's trying to get at is like if he's been there a month, he still only knows yeah. them for a month. Like right. if not, you know. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, but you've been living in somebody's village for a month, you're not gonna drink their tea. Well no, no I, I, <laughs> I uh, Jane Goodall did more with monkeys. She drank their tea. Yeah. Mm. Among other things. <laughs> what what else? She ate their ticks. Did she really? I don't know. You say oh. ticks? <laughs> yeah. Tony. <laughs> Tony. Come on now. <laughs> what? Okay. Dr. So, Goodall is a fine woman. Fucking saint. Yeah. Monkeys eat each other's ticks. It's what happens. Well, they're apes. Apes, sorry. <laughs> just keeps digging. Okay. So. Derailed. Wait, wait, um, wait. This guy. He's already said like five <laughs> racist things. You were getting on me about that from him. mixing up monkeys for a moment. <laughs> I forgot they don't have tails. Oh, I'm terrible. Shut up. So if you're an angry monkey or ape, please write in. The please. Four ape podcast please write in. <laughs> if I I will give high remarks to anyone that even just writes in me, Amy Madrigal. Yeah. <laughs> when you're done on your job writing the sequel to Rise of the Beasts. <sighs> So, so soft. Rob just hit me. This in the guy field. drinks the tea, and um, immediately gives, gets the face like, "Oh, I'm going to have the shits." Oh yeah, that's oh, not all know. you're going to have. Yep, you're going to have um, new assholes. It's the face I make, like, not even when I'm eating Taco Bell, like when I bring it home. Mm. Like when I get home yeah. and I sit down. As soon as you ordered it, I, uh, no, like, like as soon as oh. I smell it, I'm just like. Mm. I'm going to have diarrhea. <laughs> like, before I start eating. In the middle of when I'm eating. And then when I'm done eating. And that's unfortunate. But I'm still going to eat. Because a furry shows up. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. This guy is wearing straw and whatnot, pretending to be a, a monster. And he comes out and he goes like... Rawr. <laughs> and this guy he's loses watched, his shit. He's watched the Rift Track short mm -hmm. Masks of Grass. Yeah. <laughs> For real, if I was in some kind of, like... Mm -hmm. First Nation tribe, that probably would be my role. It's just be the guy who creeps out the people who are visiting. Yeah, that's your and, role now. And to be fair, <laughs> that's, it's the same reaction I have when I see you at my door. Exactly. The rest of the time, they would keep you in a box. Yes, yeah. I'd be fine with that. Yeah. I've almost wanted to build my own box in the past. Mm -hmm. All right. So the anthropologist freaks out. And then it, it cuts ahead. So he's running to a ship. And he's like, don't load my crates on the ship. And they're like, too late. Your crates are on the ship. He drops his camera and we focus on that. And I thought that was going to be something. Mm. It's not anything. Um, so he's like, Dr. Whitney here. He's like, all right, I'll follow this other thing of crates onto the ship. Because, uh, you know, then I could get my crates. And I don't know what I'm going to do with them there, but whatever. But it's going to be cool. Yeah. Turns out his well, crates were left behind. Yeah. Um, no so, crates left behind. Yeah. <laughs> now he's stuck uh, as a stowaway on this ship. Mm -hmm. And he sucks at stealth. He's just like knocking everything over in the cargo hold, slamming things around. And he finds out, yeah, the crate that he thought was his is just like some rugs or whatever. Yeah. 
and he's trying to find his cocaine. He cry, he looks like he cries he when he sees those rugs. And then uh, it's six weeks later, and uh, the ship arrives in port, and uh, we we get a Tom well, Sizemore. It it gets brought to yeah. port, and it's just, uh, it gets tugged. It's full of my Chinese knockoff Transformers. <laughs> so that have have killed everyone on board. Oh, God, yes. So Tom Sizemore shows up, and we're immediately for. he's talking about how he lost we'll Jerry that. in the custody custody hearing. Jerry. Yeah. So there's our Tom and Jerry joke. I don't. Yeah, and, uh, but he's just McGruff, yeah. the crime dog. Really turns out, yeah, Jerry's just a dog, and like they they really want this joke to work. And yep. they, they try the rules of three in comedy, you know, keep bringing it up. And it, you're just like, yeah. Sucks every time, man. Yeah, you know, sometimes in a divorce, you divvy up the pets. But you know what? I have to say now, after doing this podcast for a while, mm-hmm. thank God for them for keeping it to three. Yeah. Because so many times have we mm-hmm. seen them just knit, rail that thing into the ground till there's nothing left. Um, so we find out. <sighs> That the ship uh, made it to Lake Michigan somehow with everyone on board dead. And then they tugboated it in. I so. just realized how absurd that is. Yeah, yeah I well, mean, it was... They didn't a, kill them just, until they were at Lake Michigan. It's a really rough guess, journey yeah, through the St. Lawrence Seaway. Yeah, I just, just, uh, you it's know... around. And, you know, like, all the locks you have yeah. to go through. Yeah, how that's more what I was thinking. How wide Ooh. is the... I'm just trying to think of how, like, the average width of the... Just all the traveling paths. I mean, the lakes are, are huge, but the lakes the, themselves. Yeah, but you have like, to go through locks between each one. Mm-hmm. And, right. And well, at this to, point, though, you're also now playing the game of like, at what point did he become a monster? Yeah. Or when did he start killing people? How many people did he kill? Maybe he steered yeah. the ship as a monster. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Actually, that's that's With his tongue, point. He his did tail. still have enough intelligence left later on yeah. to do some. Sabotage and, shenanigans. And this yeah. could have been long before he started becoming full on yeah. freaky man. So maybe he still was more human. They're on board. More, they find human. some some blood spattered on the bow. Uh, you get your first uh, attempt at a jet uh, jump scare, not a jet scare, when a, a cat just jumps out of nowhere. Like, ah, cat. Oh, Jonesy. And this movie tries really <laughs> hard to just every every five minutes something attempts to jump out of you. Never and at best, minutes, it I made me care. laugh <laughs> unintentionally <laughs> twice. But, um, all right, so... You'll see something like this in Morbius! Ah! Yeah. I'm like, oh, <laughs> Jesus. So what they're like... about Craven? The, the oh, sniffing fuck. dogs couldn't find anything. And then Tom Sizemore, I guess he's the only one that's at all competent, is like, did you check the bilge? And they're like, the what? And so they lift up the. They didn't know what a boat was. They didn't know what a what a bow was. It was like they. That's right. They they it was couldn't like tell. they were from some other place that has no boats. We're, well, we're gonna we'll jump right into this now. Mm-hmm. All the cops here are stupid. Yeah. They're fucking oh, is that stupid. where the overwhelming stench of death has been coming from? <laughs> My goodness. They put all the competency mm-hmm. down there. So this build, they, they don't know shit. Mm-hmm. He doesn't fucking know the the uh, like or what? Uh, sorry, I'm jumping ahead. Never mind. Go. Um, <laughs> this this bilge is where they store all the jump cuts because it just like immediately flashes to a bunch of dead bodies floating in this swamp water we have in front of us, and you're like, oh, spooky bodies. Like I will say, like this was legitimately gross. I felt mm-hmm. like they did a good job depicting this to be gross, and yeah. it was gross. Yeah. I was just mad because I'm like, how the fuck did the dogs not smell that? Right. Because mm-hmm. the bilge stinks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I, I suppose maybe, yeah, it's hard to There's stinks well, and then there's that. I guess. They, <laughs> well, eh. I would say they didn't have a scent article for any of the crew members, but like they could have just gone in the quarters and got them. Mm-hmm. Also, for that matter, I, well, also again, these guys are merged in water. But also, these guys are morons. So there's a good possibility the dogs were like barking at a wall that they didn't realize was a well, door. Yeah, I'm more. I guess I'm more mad because I I did right before I watched this watch a video on a guy trying to elude a, uh, a mm. scent like a dog tracking him by a scent. Yeah, it's not easy. It turns out, yeah, in oh, water yeah. they can actually smell you better. Mm. Mm. Um, really Interesting. Though. Yeah. Well, the the what the part scent particles stay on the surface of the water longer. Oh, they float. Yep. Yeah, standing water, moving water. Oh, it's also Sharky the Shark Dog. Mm-hmm. So anyway, um, 
We uh, Worst in the we world. cut to a week later. We're at the Chicago Museum. He wants to tickle the swamp water. Mm-hmm. And we get two uh, um, little kids sassing each other. And you're like, oh, god damn it. They're going to be kids in this movie. These kids. Not for long. Yeah. These freaking kids. All right. Yep. So they are playing hooky from school mm-hmm. by going to a museum. Yep. I mean, I respect that. And one of the kids is like, why are we at the museum? This is lame AF. And the other kid is like, yo, let me let me take you on this journey. And then like this 90s <laughs> rap song starts mm-hmm. up and he's like, the museum is cool. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> you Radical. To, you get to see the bunch of skulls of people that died. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> <laughs> 12 bars, Rob. 12 bars. <laughs> uh, we froze yeah, up. I'm laughing too hard. <laughs> There's mammals and reptiles and insects, too. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun and learning is waiting for you. So you want to be cool? Skip out of school. <laughs> Go to the museum and the gift shop, fool. <laughs> 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 Okay. Is, is that a Rob original? <laughs> no, no, I saw that on a show, <laughs> a television. I, I, I Bill Nye the science guy? I yeah, Bill Nye. That. He was he was getting blasted in the ass by a horse. <laughs> <laughs> so if one of our fine listeners out there would like mm. to take that and remix it uh feel free to add in the blasting in the ass by a horse yeah part if you want. Yeah. yeah yeah just or whatever just splice in mr hand footage so not f- no, right. no footage wow. please no footage these two kids they go up to into uh one of our primary characters here penelope ann miller is dr green she shows up, she rides her bike to the museum and locks it in the bike rack outside the museum. Yep. Bullshit. What? That bike is not going to be there oh, yeah. when she yeah, bike rack won't be there. When she... <laughs> yeah. That bike rack shouldn't have been there to begin with. Chicago, man. Yeah. <laughs> but she is I... changing Something. sort of? like Maybe she's tucking her shirt in? Yeah, that's the thing. Mm. So she starts like adjusting her clothing. Mm-hmm. And these kids, like, they they pull out their little peckers and they just start, like, slapping them They've back They've never and forth. seen a woman before. Hmm. Apparently not. I mean... Didn't your parents teach you not to stare? I mean, yeah. Have you not ever seen a 90s vague Arquette or whatever mm-hmm. you've got here? Like, just... Like David Arquette? Yeah. Cold so... Cold. Have you not whipped your pecker to David Arquette? I forget who he is. Or Dave Coulier? That maybe. Why are we? Why? I don't know. Oh, don't we know. <laughs> See, Rob's like, officially so drunk yeah. now. Come on. Yeah. No, I, I just I get a train of thought, and then Brick says something insane, yeah. and it totally <laughs> derails what I was thinking. And you try to so, one up him? What no, the hell was that? Just, we go. In, it's just fragments of thoughts. <laughs> we go inside, and we meet um, Linda Hunt. Playing the, um, you know, one of the museum directors. And you see her and you're like, oh, God, she's going to murder someone. She's going to turn into a monster. One of the mummies came alive. Yeah. And then she's just playing this, like, nice woman. Like (laughs) That's what she looks like if Mumra was a midget. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) It's Mumra. Mumra's mom. (laughs) So we find out that Dr. Green um, needs a grant. And uh, Come get some Dr. Greg milk. has also applied for this grant, and they're, she's going to need to party with the Blaisdells to get her grant, and you're like, I don't care. This fucking Dr. Wu. Mm. She calls him a gerbil. Now, yeah, he's Dr. Gerbil from now on. In my he's Dr. Gerbil. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Now, you guys, can we just... I mean, I know we say some kind of incendiary stuff on this podcast. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Is it, a, hot fire. is it appropriate to call somebody a gerbil like that? Just out of the blue? I, I don't thought th- it was clever. Yeah. I would never want to be called a gerbil. It would hurt more than if she just called him like a straight up motherfucker. Well, yeah. Gerbils like are from Mongolia. So perhaps she was making a oh, very oh, underhanded Asian yeah. joke. So yeah. The most intelligent racist joke? Yeah. yeah. Okay. She was like, Genghis Khan raped your mama. <laughs> so... Genghis Khan was your mama. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> raped a lot of people's mamas. I mean, yeah, that's Probably true. Probably all of ours, to be fair. 
No. At least a Most little. Most gerbils too, yeah, I'm sure. At least a little. This is not an area that I know a lot of information about. Um, but neither did the writers. Sure Drink and swap yeah, water? I'm pretty People? sure obtaining grants Obtainium? does not involve schmoozing as your primary approach method. If... Oh, I'm the, pretty like, sure you have to apply for them through a process. They with did documentation, right? Yeah, yes. the whole point was they were trying because they're both competing for this grant. Yeah, they both have applied for it. Yeah, right. They're trying to grease the palms. So, a little yeah. bit. if you're thinking it will just go to whoever is the most qualified or should deserve it, you're fucking wrong. Well, hmm. and you're a bitch for thinking it. Seems like so. these people have <laughs> a lot of sway in where the grant goes, and both of them are going to try to convince them that they are the more qualified person. Mm. Yeah. Their research is more important. Yeah. Mm. It's anything else in life at a certain point. It will, if the other the guy better theoretically already it. has a grant mm-hmm. to keep his research going for X amount of time, and hers is about to like expire, and she needs mm. it to continue and keep her team employed. He's just like, fuck you people. So all I'm saying is I don't want anybody to ever call me a gerbil. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. That's the line, officially. That's your line? Yeah. I did find it a little weird when Dr. Green decided to make fun of the guy by taping her eyes back and putting those buck teeth in. Okay. It's a little much. Rob, (laughs) how do you think the cop from Sleepaway Camp with the horrible mustache felt when you referred to that as a dead gerbil? I wasn't talking about him, though. I was talking about his mustache. Mm -hmm. And you were, like, intentionally trying to hurt that thing's feelings. Also, just quick correction. I'm not saying you're wrong. It deserved it. All right, here's what you have to understand. I was a different person back then. All right. That was old me. This is the new me. That was before you saw... The ways um, of the gerbil. That's true. Yes. I understand now. Gerbil's a hurtful term. Mm -hmm. I don't want it ever said to me. I don't want to say it to anyone else. Gotcha. I am still going to call him Dr. Gerbil, but don't, I'm don't, not directing it at you. Could you just, could you whisper it I'll so, I don't, so I don't hear it? What about if you call him Dr. Gear? Or Dr. G. Was, yeah, Dr. Dr. G. Dr. G. Dr. Dick. Mm-hmm. Also, right. just nope. quick correction corner, though. Uh, Pe- I got a Dr. Pepper Ann Miller. Huh? Uh, Pepper Ann Miller. She, the, Pepper Ann Miller. Or, and, and Penelope. What? Penelope Ann Miller. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Penelope Salt Mill. Uh, Miller. Did those, she didn't put buck teeth in them. Those were just her teeth. Wow. Wow. Sorry. Right. She's a perfectly attractive young lady. Uh, yeah, she is. Yes, us. Don't worry. This movie paints by the numbers, so we get so to see her in a bra later. Decent sized choppers. Do we? For the first second or two. Like yeah. intercut we, with well, this old man in a wheelchair. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And darkness. We see her in a bra as much as we see anything in this fucking that's movie. True. Yeah, that's true. Like, I didn't even... I missed You got it. all your yeah. titties in the beginning, Rob. Mm-hmm. I got all my titties all everywhere I go. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, those those... <laughs> Those saggy eighty-year-old Peruvian or Brazilian titties. That's mm. that's your quota for this movie. That's true. All right, so I am lucky that my tits are still relatively perky. We uh okay. we wheel in a um a guy who I, I thought it was Lloyd Bridges. Um, that's Doctor Frock. It's just the corpse of Lloyd Bridges. Yes. <laughs> um, he's <laughs> he's talking about some crates arrived from Doctor Whitney. Um, from the Amazon or whatever, and we learn of the Kathoga, the son of Satan. And the important thing we're supposed to draw from here is that Dr. Green does not like superstition at all. It doesn't see its value in anthropology, which is fucking weird. Yep. Mm, but yeah. mm. then Dr. Frock is like, uh, but superstition's where it's at. And... <laughs> I'm like, I don't care. Which is why this yeah. huge museum is dedicating an entire exhibit to superstition. superstition. Yeah. Also, well, Amazonian that's, First Nation people that's regardless of believed her. in Satan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, that's regardless of her. But, like, if you don't believe in superstition, I get that. But, like, I can learn it. It's obviously going to be a big oh, part yeah. of your job. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, like, I mean, yeah. It's like, you don't have to partake, but you should believe in yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. It and reco- <laughs> recognize as an anthropologist its value in explaining oh, yeah. the behavior yes. <laughs> of something. It's like Most weird. of the human history. <laughs> yeah, all these people survived. How? Mm. So, they open up the crates. Uh, they were nailed shut. There's no way they could be tampered with. They're just full of leaves. And the leaves have Unless little, you had little doo-doos on them. And they're like, oh, I don't know why you sent us those. Let's incinerate them. Yeah, I mean, I know they look like eggs. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Which they do. They look exactly like eggs. Mm-hmm. So 
I love the idea of like we were sent these crates. We don't know why. Mm-hmm. Let's just burn them. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. We, have, we have this. Yeah. this well, just looks like cut eggs right to the end. Yeah. When, from when we say it looks away. like eggs, it looks like someone took like some orange caviar mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. smeared them onto these. Yeah. Eggs. Also, right. let's not wait for correspondence from Dr. Whitney. No, no, no. no, 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 no just no, burn them. Just burn them. His lifelong work By the way, that shit wouldn't in. have made it through customs. Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> His lifelong yeah, work came in, but he's not here to sign for it. Burn it. Fuck. The guy yeah, so, at the boat even said, like, customs has went over this. We're not taking anything off mm-hmm. the boat. This guy's trying to smuggle lizard caviar into the country. <laughs> so she she takes well, a few of the leaves and packs them I'll away like in, like, a styro. Um, and then it's announcing that the museum's closed. And I'm like, she just got there and, like, walked in, yeah. talked to, like, two people or three people. Here's the thing, Joe. Mm-hmm. And this comes into play later, actually. Yeah makes a big part of the movie she wrecked the bathroom they had to close, oh. they had to close the museum yeah. <laughs> like i was riding my bike here and uh well the impression so that i got it, it was like was, meerkat manor the whole way over you have you have the museum on the ground floor and then you have this kind of like cheyenne missile complex mm-hmm disorder underneath so her lab could have been miles away by the time she walked there so it very well could have taken her mm-hmm. all day to get to get to her labs um so I, i'm going with rob's thing that she blew up the bathroom so bad that it's it's creeping to other bathrooms now oh, it's in the pipes and yeah. you just you gotta close it and she used the men's room yeah because she knew better mm-hmm <laughs> And, uh, yeah, everyone had to leave through the coal tunnels. Yep. So um, <laughs> she just leaves the the leaves in a little styrofoam cooler. And uh, we cut to in some other guy incinerating leaves. Mm-hmm. And then um, the two little shitty kids were back to them. And I'm like, Important oh. Important detail. Mm-hmm. A dermestid beetle that is used to prepare mm-hmm. skeletal spe- specimens. Uh, I don't think that happens yet. When she puts the leaves in the cooler? Because we meet the Beatles later when we're Wait, here's the when problem. The Tom Sizemore is talking to Joe her. is uh, describing the first scene where this happens. Yeah, this happens. You're talking about times. the second scene this happens. <laughs> whereas I'm wondering why we're wasting our time on any of this because it doesn't fucking matter and they just keep doing it over and yeah. over again. All right, so let's let's come to something that <laughs> is at least kind of in, kind of interesting. Two kids, they're still there. Fuck them. Oh, that's they're not They're still in the museum. Whatever. Why are they there? They got lost. Because yeah. they're nerds trying to be badass, so they yeah. cut school to hang out at a museum. They're not nerds, Tony. They're not having big glasses and suspenders. No, they wanted to go to the arcade. They, yeah. But they were like, oh, it's too early for us to go to the arcade. We got to let's, let's hang out at the museum for a little while. John, I know he's a nerd because he has glasses and suspenders. He attaches a gun to it so it looks cool. <laughs> but he still has the he's nerd. nerd kill they're they're not at all attached to my pants. Well, <laughs> Close you're doing it wrong. <laughs> so he's right. edgy. Either way, these kids, they're now prowling around the museum where going where they're not supposed to. There's kids in the adult books. Yeah, whatever. which is what I wrote in my notes. <laughs> so either Somewhere. way, this security kids in the adult guard, books. There you go. he's like, I, oh, now that, uh, you know, Penelope Ann Miller's blown up the bathroom. No one will look for me here. And I'm... Uh, I'm going to go and uh, open up the window and smoke a joint. Yeah. Also, oh. since there's already a funk in here, yeah, let yeah, me just, help things by letting it You won't notice the difference. Yeah. It's yeah. Just, oh, it'll only improve the situation. Yeah, it'll oh, just yeah. make people even less interested in going in there. Also, do you know who this guy is? Dead. Um, is he like an actor we know? Yeah, he's been sort somewhere. of. Has he? The guy, the guard in this that is about to die to this yeah. relic in this non Crichton movie is the guy that gets pulled in by the raptor in the first Jurassic Park. Shoot her. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. See? Bah. I'll believe it. So, either way, he's smoking a joint. And, Happily. Uh, like, he's some- so, so happy about it. Something walks in. And it's like, you smoke it a joint in here. And he's like, <laughs> it's for my glaucoma. And he's like, let me get some of that. And he's like, no, get your own. <laughs> and then he's like, well, I'll fucking rip your head off. <laughs> that's right. That escalated quickly. Because the monster attack is pretty lame. So that's how I imagined it going down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, not, um, it's, like, it's like an arm. It's like a goopy arm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In reality, it's just the sound of someone with asthma 
breathing mm-hmm. heavy. And because he's smoking a joint, yeah, it's <laughs> giving him an allergic reaction because of the joint. <laughs> um, my airway's closing. <laughs> I'm really gonna nice. kill you. Ah, spilling um, swamp water everywhere. Yeah, and then this grody-looking oh. claw arm thing grabs his ankle from underneath the uh, yeah, no, the I stall. Yeah, I just don't. Spill and then we cut I, away. Well, maybe I'm wrong. All right, so I'm off. either way, kids, don't smoke your marijuanas in the bathroom. With no. a monster. There is no smoking in the boys' room. Yeah. Mm. So now we cut back to Dr. Green, who's like, you know what I haven't had in a while? I haven't had a jump scare. And so okay, uh, what is him? her research assistants have a skeleton <laughs> pop up. Mm-hmm. And spooky skeleton's like, let me go. We're working too late. And she's like, fine, you guys can go. She uh, is an unnaturally good sport at this. Mm-hmm. I will say, well... <laughs> Here's the funny thing for me. One, the skeleton pops over. And yeah, it's, that's the guy. I recognize those pock marks. Yeah, <laughs> it's doing some. It's doing some comedy, which you know, it's it's, it's puns. Joffrey, thank you. It, it's puns, but like you know, all right, they're 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 working well enough. You're the real jump scare ball. for me was when the five fucking people doing this popped yeah. up. Can I was we, like, what the? Hell? I thought it was one dude. Can we just talk about Jurassic Park for a minute? Um, <laughs> I don't think we mentioned this during our actual Jurassic Park episode. How when the raptor was loaded into the raptor pen in mm-hmm. the very beginning of the movie, mm. like there were green lights on the side of the raptor pen to indicate that, like the. The was containment unit was lo- presumably locked in place. Mm-hmm. You'd think. A, how would, did a raptor, A, moving towards the entrance, push the entire containment unit back? How do you do that at all within within the thing? Yeah. How why, How did they need a, a person to lift the gate? Like, it, a lot of it doesn't make sense. Uh, right. Dinosaurs in that... Oh, go ahead. Tony. It's still a perfect goddamn so, no, movie we'll now. We'll start... not accept anything other from you gerbils. Well, no, dinosaurs in that movie <laughs> have the ability to displace matter, including their own. Mm-hmm. That's true. That's yeah. how the dinosaurs... Also, yeah, the T-Rex up, paddock. Just hopped up. <laughs> also, Rob, and for the listeners at home, there's going to be some big air quotes here. We spared no expense. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's fair. So that's fair. It did say great value on the side. Yeah. Of the <laughs> unit. Right, um, you... And on the side of Joffrey. Go ahead, Tony. Say your racist thing that you were going to say. <laughs> How do you have a sub? That could... Never mind. Mm. Anyway. Wow. So, you so, should have heard what he just said care. about the hardworking Mexicans. What? All right. The bottom line, the kids, this plot line that will go nowhere. We're back to them. They're lost. They're worried about their parents finding out that they went to the museum. They um, will find out. Yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, you know, we cut to Dr. Green leaving. She hears a noise. She's like, I better check that out. And um, we uh, we cut back to the kids. One of the kids scares the other kids, then accuses him of farting. Um, that's about the most interesting part he, he of totally the scene. Did. He totally did. Fart. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, no. One, one squeaked out when uh, the jump scare happened. And then the monster, it like, wet. it's implied that the monster descends to go get him. And I was like, good. Can yeah, go, it, that's what it looks like. Because it's like a, suddenly a POV shot just, like, flies yeah, down yeah. at these kids' faces. Directly at their face. And you're um, like, finally, after watching that freaking uh, edging competition that was the Sandlot, not a single kid died in that. <laughs> finally, finally get to blow my load here and watch a kid get ripped in half. Wow. <laughs> So wow, Rob, go go put in children at play, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> do, do yourself a favor. <clears throat> um, so Tom Sizemore we arrives at the museum the next day. So does Doctor Green. Um, you know, he's like, I want to talk to her. Uh, we yeah, find out do. the kids are they're okay. The kids are all right. Yeah, yeah. and you're like, what the fuck? Yeah. We, they didn't see any. What was that even? That was just a pointless. Yeah, what were they doing? Crash what was the zoom. Point of any of that. And why were yeah? Why were the kids at the museum? Like, what did what was the payoff for any of that? Why are kids? I, why are kids? I almost think maybe that was supposed to be like the guard finding them, but that doesn't really make sense because of that point of view. 
What, but the dead guard? Which guard? No, like some other guard. Whoever <laughs> fucking found them in the morning. I don't know. Yeah, Linda Hunt. Could it yeah, just maybe. been as simple as the monster was taking the guard back to its lair <laughs> and like a piece of the guard <laughs> fell off and fell down the stairs and landed next to them? The monster At develops. At least that's something. Maybe. Develops a sense they, of humor and just they, brings they, the guard's body up to the top of the stairs yeah. like a pup and he's like, hey kids, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> or he's fucking nut up. You're not showing yeah. that anyway. The kids died. We found a bunch yeah. of blood. Word. We found a dead yeah. security guard. I mean, okay, here's There's the problems. question. Maybe it wasn't the monster. Maybe it was the rapist they find later <laughs> in the basement. Could have been the hobo. And he just touched the kids a little yeah. and left. He just touched them a little. <laughs> he just jumped three stories they down and matching, grabbed him on the way. He matches the description yeah. that the kids gave. He just left mm-hmm. some DNA in those kids and left. All right. So it was the crazy off. hobo. He did a little so diddle and left. So you tell me there's two creatures around there's that are two, yeah. two collecting and trading DNA. Right, there's yeah, two yeah, okay. Monsters lose the library. The dribbling. Dribbling. One, one's, yeah, one's depositing the DNA. <laughs> <laughs> the other's stealing <laughs> brain matter. The other one's uh, hanging brain matter. It's okay, kids. I'm not going to tell anyone. I just want you to shout into my ass. <laughs> so it's our little secret. <laughs> couple of just you and me and a couple of gerbils. You know what I'm saying, kids? <laughs> You just said not to say that. <laughs> I did. I lied. Well, he said it five times since <laughs> yeah. then. If you'd like to call me a gerbil, please do so at the Warrior Podcast at gmail.com. Son of a bitch. I but accept, he also wants you to step on his nuts when I you accept do it. any and all insults. All right. I welcome them. I crave them. So we now get, we get to the scene where we see what the monsters work in the bathroom. And, uh, <laughs> and we're, right not, ta- we're not talking hole. about Penelope. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm... I give Penelope uh, Miller here, and usually in these movies, I give the female lead character a lot of shit for bad acting, but it's because of movies like this where she is the only one that's trying, like, at all, all right, so and she's well, trying way too. too hard. Do you? The lead cop is trying. He's, 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 he's okay. He's, He's which, trying to, to be a bad. So which lead? But which yeah. lead have you given? Like I'm, I'm like I'm, this is not even a joke. I'm just trying to remember like movies that we've usually done? in like a '90s movie. I'm usually like this. This actress is the fucking worst. Okay. But it's usually because she's being told. Well, to... we we've been good enough lately, or, or I think yeah. pretty much since the beginning. Like we generally have like a Ripley before we have a. Uh, Monique Gabrielle mm-hmm. or something of that quality. Uh, who what? You you come on! Oh damn it! No, you gotta um, explain this to me. Evil Tunes, Deathstalker Two. I thought you would know. Never mind. All right. Anyway, the point is someone who is terrible. I'm just thinking right. Brie Larson. Sure. Okay. Then fill <laughs> your boat. So, all right. Either way, feeds your meat. For um, they walk into the bathroom. <laughs> And Dr. Green peeks in there and sees the security guard mutilated and um, she's just like, uh, and then shits all right. herself. And I'm going to go ahead and correct you right yeah. there. She does not peek in. Mm-hmm. She just walks yeah, in. She yeah, she walks in. Like, Again, she has police these cops are entirely. Terrible. Yeah, she has yeah. police entirely around her. It is a cr- active crime There should be scene. a man at that door. Mm-hmm. Right. Or all of the cops around her should be like, no, no. no you may not go that way. Yeah. You there can go this is way. a man at that door. There are yeah. two men at That's that right. door that just let her, let her walk past. So, yeah. They are not professional. <laughs> now, and then we go into th- the bathroom and we see, like, you know, this guy's mutilated his brains, like, in a different stall. And then this, the fucking uh, coroner's like, oh, we found a joint on the floor. He had a little pot on the potty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, fuck you, movie. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah. Um, so we have fun here. Yeah. Yes. Now, the, the museum staff, they're like, we want to reopen the museum. You know, we got to get people in here. We cleaned out the toilets. The, you know, everything's good. And Tom Sizemore is like, yo, uh, someone ripped this guy's brain out. We should probably not let other people in here. Uh, no, officer. Obviously, you can see that was the marijuana. Yes, <laughs> totally. It blew his mind. <laughs> this is your brain on drugs. He was a. This he is was, your brain on the floor. He was abusing reefers, and mm. he died accordingly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is what happens. I also would have loved it if they turned it. Where like it was the two little kids. They did. <laughs> Officer, it appeared he was partaking in the sticky icky, and he uh, his brain just blew out of his fucking head. 
And um, <laughs> now we, we introduce the security chief for the museum, who mm. is the, uh, the 90s fast. stereotype of the incompetent authority figure. Right. He's the one who's like, I'm only going to make bad decisions mm-hmm. from here on out. Loudly. Until I die. Yeah. Um, Gloriously. Aliens. So he, he's like, I, I, let's get this museum open. Come on, let's do this. Let's get more people killed. <laughs> um, and now, uh, oh, yeah, that's also, he's the security chief. He didn't know the guard that died. That's that's a good sign. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, who else is this guy? <laughs> yeah. Who let him in here? And it's, it's funny because that's the guy at the fucking front door. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> he's, he's fine. He was not on the payroll. The good indication of an ass for a boss. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's that's really, beyond ass for a boss. It's like that's incompetent. Like you don't. I well, know. Yeah. And it's, well, well, it's like he does. He doesn't actually work there. Is what that is. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say. Well, all right. Th- apparently, this museum has transients. It's got kids running that's away true. from school. Mm-hmm. Maybe this guy was just wandering off the street <laughs> for a place yeah. to smoke. Do you have homeless? <laughs> Rape axe murderers yeah. in your basement. Just Found chilling. an open locker, put the security guard out yeah. there. Yeah. We're just hanging out there for less. Or maybe years. he came wearing it. Who knows? That's Maybe that's how he got in. He, wow, he yeah. skipped school one day and just stayed there. <laughs> Eventually yeah. became the security. He's like Hugo. Yeah. But for a museum in Grand Central. Yeah. So he goes and diddles the mummies at night. We, we get a little bit of foreshadowing here where we see... Uh, it's a little bit of Linda Hunt's the, mommy milk. There's a... Uh, um, Tom Sizemore's character uh, is talking to Dr. Green, and we see the uh, maceration tank that they're putting a rhino in. Not the to, masturbation tank. Correct. correct. Different. <laughs> I mean, you can't employ it for that purpose. <laughs> yeah. Just put a rhino in there, too. He has yeah. a real good... Mm. And but she was in there for a little while. We don't know yeah. what she did. <laughs> But anyway, no, um, we, we know what you did. Oh yeah, it was full so by the end. You put the rhino in there to get like most of the meat to fall off its bones, oh, and yeah. then you take those bones over to this other area where they have the what kind of beetle is it, John? Dermested beetle. A yeah. Dermested beetle that eats the meat right off. That's the bones. just John retardedly saying a domestic beetle. <laughs> dermested. It's a domestic beetle. He's from here, so he's domestic. So I, I kind of wish I had some of these. Dermested beetles? Yeah. I can get you some. Yeah. Clean your butt. Some. What, do you, what do you want beetles for? No, it's just how you can help with like texture. Listeners at home. Anyway. You need uh, okay, no, no, no. Come see John. Hold on. Dead stop. <laughs> what do you need taxidermy help with? I got pee. Nothing at the moment. But... He's got plaid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he needs beetles for her. <laughs> wow. Some neighborhood pets. I just, you know. Okay. I mean, like, <laughs> if you are getting into taxidermy like my my housemates know stuff about it oh man to hook you up yeah i i mean, want some dead stuff we have connections to dead stuff too. i know i'm no it's, yeah, you know i'm surrounded by death you I'm know good there <laughs> um <clears throat> so yeah they uh, did we talk about the coroner yet no, well, no. no. your girl yeah. kathy well, where, where joe was going with she the, was awesome the domestic beetle display is that they mm. explain that these <laughs> Beetles are there because they use them to prepare skeletons. And oops, be careful! Some of them got out last night. So what? Did, like, what does uh, that mean? Because they eat flesh, or yeah, it was a joke. They don't, yeah. they can't really like bite you and hurt you. Or yeah, no, yeah it's but, not that big of a. But it's just uh, lets you know where the mm-hmm. beetle came from. Right. In the following the big bad beetle board they show yeah. in the next. Uh, yeah, it's it's her joking around to be like, oh look out! But it's really just to be like. Hey, guys, in a couple minutes, it's going to be important. You know, yeah, it's going to be an avocado with pipe cleaner legs coming <laughs> yeah. at you in a few minutes. <laughs> you better watch it. I'm wondering it's if exactly. this is an indication that I should take with me next time yeah. to determine whether I'm watching a bad movie. If there's domestic is people if in it. During the podcast, I start understanding why I was shown certain things at the beginning of the movie. Because when we first started the podcast, it was only then that I realized the guy in the native scene was the anthropologist. And I just realized from from what John just said, Bicker. that's where the Beatles came well, from. Are, wait, are you telling you don't are you, are you not aware of what foreshadowing is? Oh, I, I know what foreshadowing is when it's done well. When it's 
<laughs> completely obvious. Where's my vodka? <laughs> did, we, did, did we advance this at all? While no, I was no like, not we really. We talked about Beatles. Your mess in Beatles and okay. Like, we, oh, watch we, out, some of them got loose. Yeah, about we your, may have taught girl, Rick something. Your girl Kathy Maybe. with the dump cakes. We, we just real quick. So if it's done <laughs> well, you shouldn't notice film. it so much. When it's done poorly, it should be so obvious it's hard to miss. Well, no, why... when, when it's done poorly, I just have no idea why it's even there in the first place. I just completely, oh, okay, you showed me that thing. There's no connection uh, in my brain. All right. When it's done well, I actually understand yeah. what it's there for. All right. So, Kathy, your girl, Kathy. Here's your Kathy girl, cartoon. Kathy. I'm coming at you with some dope cake. What the yeah, fuck are we talking about? Titties. So the, the coroner in this in this movie, oh he's had a little yeah. bit more reminds vodka me since you of took a the uh, Djibouti dubs of the uh, copper skillet dump cake Kathy <laughs> lady huh okay so uh, go on then go this on. monster's going around so you need hyperthalamus yeah let's just get into this damn monster so we're like okay hypothalamuses that's weird that it's taking those yeah. maybe it's still a drug thing at this point maybe. Also, Tom Sizemore now knows about the crates that got sent up here. So he's like, maybe those had drugs. Those leaves were drugs. I don't know. Or hypothalamus. Yeah. So um, we come back to see Dr. Green in her lab. And there is no explanation that her program makes a car crash every time it's done. <laughs> nope. Oh, yeah. I'm There's like, did that happen outside? Like, <laughs> let me I was so ex- confused. Let yeah. me give you an explanation. 90s? Yep. Uh, somebody on set discovered that you could change your Windows theme mm-hmm. and 90s. Yeah. Oh, also, it did was no cool. one tell you this was a spinoff from Hackers? Oh, my God. <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> Just, and yeah, like, the I mean, entire yeah. movie Hackers was simply so that Angelina Jolie and her cohorts could change the sound that this computer makes. Yeah. So Honestly, all that, uh, all that was missing for her is for her to log in with some ridiculous username like Crash Override or whatever. I do know a few scientists, and the ones that I do know legitimately would probably be entertained by making that the sound if something broke. Like if the program mm. fucked up or it was like error or you forgot to do something. Yeah, we understand that scientists can be Could, simple too. We yeah. get it. Yeah. Could we at least <laughs> see the progress gar- bar yeah, go yeah. from 99 to 100 and hear the car crash? To a car crash. So I at least associate <laughs> that with the fucking computer. Uh-huh. Or yeah, yeah. maybe even yeah. have like a little graphic on there of something. Like it was just yeah. completely off screen. Or like it yeah. goes vroom vroom when she starts it. Or something. That would be yeah. funny. Yeah. yeah it, 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 literally, she's walking out of the office when suddenly mm. she, you hear this and she walks back. And I, I was with Joe, just like, yep. what the fuck yeah. was that? So we find out the leaves are covered in beetle hormone or, or animal hormones. And at this point, this is when the domesticated beetle climbs in the styro with the leaves. Yeah, it's great. Um, <laughs> I don't remember what was said, but I wrote at this point the movie is trying real hard with the dog joke. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think you just like who actually gets a dog and a, mm-hmm. oh. uh, custody of a dog or something. Yeah, he was on the phone with somebody and he was like, find out if all those corpses had their thalamuses removed. And then he was like, oh, let me ask you something. Who the fuck gets custody of a dog? And it's like, how old are you? Yeah. To have not known that you're a police officer. Well, You've did. probably done this we, kind of a case where we, you're like, we're taking well, the dog. And... We actually have, if you guys, uh, just just uh, total silence for just a minute. We actually have audio from the theater when this was first shown. Who actually gets custody of a dog? <laughs> there you go. Actual audio from this. Yep. Now, is this, is this, where, the, <laughs> this is where the cops are like searching now? Uh, no, now, um, Please? we get to the part where <laughs> she goes into the superstition exhibit, um, oh, and yeah. then gets freaked she, out over nothing. She gets spooked. Which is honestly probably the creepiest part of this movie for me, because it brought me back to those times as a kid when I was afraid of the dark. Mm. And I would, like, you know, when I was playing in the basement, I'd turn the light off and then run up the stairs and, like, something, I'd feel like something chasing mm. me, even though there was and obviously oh, nothing Oh boy, there. this movie dark. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe an axe-wielding pedophile. <laughs> yeah, it could have just been that. Well, but um, I also want to throw in, because it's somewhere around here, uh, was the other major, one of the, my breaking points for how stupid these cops are. Because mm-hmm. he's having that discussion when the guy finally gives him the results. 
And he's like, yeah, the the upper thyper whatever. Hypothalamus. Well, yeah, but he's stumbling yeah. over it. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, dude, I don't expect you to be a scientist, but you're a fucking police officer. You have at yeah. least heard this before. Mm-hmm. This is not new, mm-hmm. you know, for you two idiots. Hooked on phonics. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Didn't work for them. So, <laughs> But, like, neither one of them acted like they've ever heard, like, like oh, that's just a brainy part. Like, no, there, there's different <laughs> yeah. names for it. You don't have to have them memorized, but, like, don't act like this is the first time you've heard this shit. So I apologize in advance for whatever racist joke Rob is about to say. <laughs> but, as many as possible. Yeah, <laughs> this part, you know, now she, she runs from the exhibit into the dumper and hides in the, you know, in one of the toilet stalls. And we think the monster's coming in there because the monster came in the other bathroom and killed the dude. And, and, it's, we, and it's making those asthma noises. Yeah, yeah we hear it's breathing. We hear the noises. And then she, uh, you know, hears someone like using the sink or whatever. And she looks out. It's, it's a sanitary and monster. It's, it's, yeah, the cleaning woman. Yeah. And, Rosita. Uh, yep. And that's it. And you're like, okay, that thanks scene. I guess that took up time. Wait, so what racist, wait, why would I have made a racist joke? Why do you ever? I don't know. We, no, we just just, I, don't it. Just, I don't understand the context here. The, the, nope, don't the, set him up for this. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. No, we'll, just stop, <laughs> we'll stop and move on. No, I, I'm starting to think maybe Joe's a racist nope. is what I'm starting to no, think. I'm st- no. I'm j- don't try it. <laughs> I'm just trying not to throw the obvious... Like, no, I'm just trying to understand why this fucking gerbil, gerbil over here decided to uh, just assume I was going to You call say me a fucking gerbil? <laughs> That's After right. After everything we've been through. <laughs> he yucked your yum. Oh, I'm going to fucking fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna s- It's his birthday. This movie is tearing yeah. us apart. <laughs> Do not yuck his yum. I Do will not be a yum yucker. <laughs> I will yuck your fucking face. <laughs> you yum yucking gerbil. <laughs> <laughs> I came in the punch. Um, all right. So, is that <laughs> why we're acting? Like yeah. In lieu of participating, John is currently cutting himself with a knife. Yeah. Yeah. The rest of us are screaming. It's probably at the each correct. Just, uh, <laughs> but I, I will. Maybe I should bring up though uh, another thing I found out was uh-huh. apparently building the creature for this movie took a lot of time and work. And they didn't have it for quite a while, for so else. so they had yeah. a bean-eating Mexican as a stand-in. <laughs> there it is. There we go. I knew shit. it was coming. I didn't well, I, you prompted it. I wasn't going to say anything. I I you, was, you were going to say something. You, you were going to say something because matter. you didn't have to say She's anything now. You didn't say have to say anything now. It's a lady that works at the museum. There was nothing. You don't write her off. She does an important job. Yeah. I said it's a lady that works at the museum. Yeah, so why did you say anything else? Because Joe said, or somebody said, it I don't. Me. It was yeah. Joe said, I don't know what racist thing Rob's gonna because say. Because every other so opportunity in my head, I was that. like, what, what, what racisms happened in this film, Joe? In my head, and none. Then he said all this, and I was like, wait, what was interesting about that? Because all I saw mm-hmm. was a hardworking woman on a job that mm-hmm. has asthma. Mm-hmm. And is doing her best to clean, to overcome, to overcome okay. her mm-hmm. disability. Well, wait, mm-hmm. But what did you see in the beginning of this movie? A fucking ooga booga. All right. Ooga. So. <laughs> <laughs> a leopard cannot change its spots. Yeah. No, no, no. I think I think you guys are misunderstanding. Yeah. No, because I think you uh, don't understand that there's no way we could know where your yeah. fucking line no, no, no. is. Because, there's clearly no way. The line was that gerbil and it moved. No, no, we no. don't know where the line this, is. This was, the beginning was not like. Oh, it's this native <laughs> tribe, and they're having the ceremony. No, it was literally a bunch of people I, in yeah, silly yes. makeup going. Ooga, booga, ooga, booga, when has ooga, the movie's booga. context stopped you before? Hmm. Sometimes it's just funny, but sometimes <laughs> <laughs> again, trying to follow your rules. Is... <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> the rules are: is is said person doing anything silly or stupid? Always. If so, no, because this the lady cleaning the bathroom. Well, she wasn't doing anything silly. She just, she just came in. Oh, well, she yeah. just happened to have asthma. That's not funny. Yeah. In this instance, those two kids didn't do anything. But, you... <laughs> but they're kids and they suck. Yes, <laughs> and they did. They did do something. They skipped school to go to a fucking museum. All right, the, the movie review's lost. over. Now we're just. <laughs> and got yeah. lost we're going to be doing this museum. for the rest of the episode. <laughs> 
in a museum that we don't get to see any of. They somehow got lost. We have three rooms. Yeah. Right. So as, as, far as, as far as the audience is concerned, yep. they got lost in three rooms. Yep. Well, they are morons. Because the other sections were locked out. Right. Yeah. They couldn't they go may, anywhere else. Well, <laughs> yes, they deserve to die, and I hope they burn in hell. <laughs> well, it's one of those rooms. <laughs> yeah, it's very sweat. One of those rooms is all about superstitions. Maybe they fucking kept walking in there, trying to leave, and found themselves walking back in. That 13th floor shit? That they are retarded. (laughs) (laughs) And natural selection took them out. Like it should. You're still here. I'm natural selection, bitch. (laughs) The fuck you are. (laughs) If you're our future, I'm glad I'm dying soon. Yeah. Yeah. But, um. Think about that. Yeah, I am. Uh, no. (laughs) Jesus Christ. I feel bad for so, all right, so everyone. There's two cops I'm sorry. Here. I'm sorry. All right. I got to ask a question because there's two cops looking for this monster. In the first we see of the coal tunnel. Oh, wait. Uh, just, uh, yeah. So my point was, uh, <laughs> since they hadn't finished the monster, they fucking kind of just did a lot of filler for some of this stuff. What? Shocker. Uh, so, yeah, we, um, we, uh, we see people rolling out the red carpet because the gala is going to happen tonight. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we see their cops still patrolling the museum. Because Amityville is a summer town. Mm-hmm. They need those summer dollars. Yeah. So <clears throat> the cops are arguing oh. about espressos and lattes because it's the uh, 90s. Yeah, so this is the question I have. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. This is a You're ready for the line question. move again. <laughs> no, 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 this is a legitimate question. Okay. A okay. legitimate okay. question about it. nonsense. I swear to God mm. that one of the cops said to the other cop, I like espresso, dick smooth. <laughs> That's what I heard. That's what I wrote down. It's possible that that occurred. He, he, he said something about it being smooth. I don't think I, it was no, dick said, smooth. I like espresso, dick smooth. <laughs> now, to bring back to a point earlier. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. With our, no. This <laughs> movie just keeps circling. Yeah. <laughs> circling the drain. Well, just, just to point out. Because our combat, our what we call repeating on us. Yeah, our cops, as I mentioned, are incompetent. Mm-hmm. One of the great uh, indicators is this guy is like, "Oh, Lieutenant Green was the last one to leave last night. Yep. I want to talk to him." Mm-hmm. Then when a woman is brought up to him, he's like, "Who, Who are the you?" Fuck is this? Yeah. And then when she says, "Oh, Lieutenant, whatever is looking for me," uh, he says, "Well, why? Who are he you?" Goes, and is? still not clicking in. Yep. This is the fucking person. I don't know. Because he's an idiot. I don't know. I told I already disagreed with Tony on this because I don't think there was anything in his body language that suggested he was being a dick, other than he just was well, like, I'm gonna have to interview so many fucking no, 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 He no, was no, no. unintentionally being chauvinistic, thinking that think yeah, wait, 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 wait. It's not even about that. It doesn't yeah, matter if he's being out. chauvinistic or not, he's being but a Tony fucking finished. idiot. My point is so. he's not using common sense. Uh, much like you, I will say right now, I didn't think about this at the time, but I imagine Common sense will tell you he probably said, I like it thick and smooth, oh. which would make a lot more sense. No, I prefer not. <laughs> well, you can prefer it all you want. <laughs> you can choose whatever pronouns you want to go by, bro. But, I'm it's, with, you know. Then you know what? I'm changing it to, I like dicks thick and smooth. All right. <laughs> He's rejecting that's, reality and substituting his that's own. That's right. No, that's that's his new tagline. I, didn't I hear, want it on his bio. I, didn't hear I want it, it on his Facebook. I didn't hear an mm in there. Thick mm. and smooth. I heard dick smooth. I mm. also want a special t-shirt of the 4AM podcast now made for Rob. This is the back. I like dicks thick and smooth. I will, I will put, I like espresso dick smooth and <laughs> whatever and, and the balls can Any, be two d20 anyway these two cops are arguing about which one's better espresso or whatever the other they, they find thing a is. bloody footprint and you're like oh uh, so is it a footprint happen. you can't see what the fuck they're looking at it's uh, it's really weird. friggin' dark down there yeah it's, it's striped and they it look at so the, strange. Hey, hey tony do these uh do these super intelligent cops radio it in right now Oh, no. No, 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 of course not. Okay. But no, Joe, I mean, they make the logical conclusion to just open fire on the first thing that moves. <laughs> no. No, no, oh, wait, wait, wait. We're, we're not at that wait, part. Wait, wait. No, because they try to radio it, and they're like, oh, too, it's too much concrete. They, That's they, true. Oh. They walk, w- like, it's like five, ten minutes mm-hmm. later in the movie. Sure, they're somewhere is. else. Yeah. But also, like, they look at this footprint. Is it a human footprint? It looks like a human footprint. Uh-huh. 
And it, they're like, it's over seven feet tall. Yeah. It looks it's like the footprint you would make with the big red boot. It mm-hmm. doesn't look like it's, it's a big anything. Foot. They're chasing a Sasquatch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they just start doing their Sasquatch call down the hallway. Uh, we find out. <laughs> We find out now that all of the bodies on the ship awesome. were missing Sounds their like hypothalamus. Taking a shit. Whoa. <laughs> um, it's lumpy. Yeah. So then, like the so the cop now he knows. All right, everyone's missing their hypothalamus. Why would they miss their hypothalamus? I don't know. Let's go talk to Doctor Frock. Because the monster likes hypothalamus. Yeah. He starts Dick talking smooth. about the Callisto <laughs> effect. Dick smooth. Um, and he's talking about you know. It's gonna be a new name. Sometimes. You just have sudden bursts of evolution. In dicks. <laughs> dick smooth. Um, <laughs> so if I could just throw in anyone that is doing a remix of Rob's rap earlier, there's your name for him. Yeah. Dick smooth. I am dick smooth. <laughs> DJ dick smooth. DJ dick smooth. With a V. <clears throat> um, all right. So yeah, dick Callisto smooth. effect. Apparently, uh, Dr. Frock believes there are certain conditions where evolution can happen very rapidly. Such as very monster quickly. movies. Yes. Such as comic books. Yep. And that's uh, pretty much falling it. into a vat of something. Correct. In a monster movie. <laughs> In a, a monster movie. movie. Yeah. Me chemical. Um, so, what has even happened? Like, now? to a certain extent. Oh, here. yeah. Okay. So, now the two cops are... Tr- oh, I'm sorry, Brick. I cut you off. No. All right. I, I now, wasn't going to say anything useful. <laughs> the two cops are... Uh, now they're trying to radio it in. They're somewhere else. They're in an even darker tunnel. <laughs> um, and you're like... Darker, deeper tunnel. With yeah, just sorry. Uh, this just occurred to me. Uh, their superstition uh, exhibit. It, yep. They had they start with a gate in front mm-hmm. that has the the Dante's you yeah. know inferno line of you know, that whatever. Yep. Uh, abandon all hope. Do we now think that it's possible? This exhibit is so elaborate that they built a pathway to hell. Because where the <laughs> fuck is the, these tunnels Yo, that go on that, forever? That would be an entertaining movie to watch. <laughs> I saw one that was similar to that, where they had basically a gate to hell in the basement of a bank. That was a cool movie. Don't remember the name, but it was it was neat. Mm. I would rather watch that. But anyway. So, <clears throat> all right. Now the two cops, they're walking, they're some it's somewhere darker. They're they can't radio things in, they're getting a little spooked, and just a fucking hobo jumps out of nowhere. He really does. He really does like jump out like Rah! And, then, <laughs> and Mitch, that I laughed so hard. <laughs> yeah. You wanna feel, oh, yeah. you wanna feel bad, but it, it yeah. like that is the, that is the appropriate reaction. A hobo yeah. jumps out of you just, just, yeah. just and, well, that like, never, at first I did feel bad because I it happened so fast. I didn't see him holding an axe. Or yeah. Like, no, yeah. I was just like, oh, he just fucking blew that I, I didn't fucking see an hobo axe. away. Yeah, but even if he didn't have the axe, like, you don't just ju- well, you don't just jump out at somebody like that. You just well, like, yeah. ah! Yes, but and the problematic issues of modern day possibly be real. No, no, I'm just saying. But <laughs> shoot his ass. No, but my point being, like, if you're a cop and you need to shoot someone, that's one thing. This dude unloads like five clips in this motherfucker. Yeah. Like he's he coming did, right for him. He's, he's, yeah, yeah. He's shooting and he's <laughs> not you're, you're, stopping you're. until he sees daylight. I smelled like a through the boss. body. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, um, what even? Uh, okay, yeah. So we killed the two cops. Uh, we. Sh- I don't Wait, know, I'm I sorry. We no. killed the hobo. The yeah. two cops killed the hobo. Um, we Boy, find now kill. immediately the movie's like, don't worry, he's a scumbag. You know, yeah, he's he's some, a, he was a pedophile. Yeah, he was it, like it a was rapist. weird. He's an axe murderer. When they cut to this scene, I was like, they are trying to cover their ass. Yeah. They're like, he came at us with an axe. He had a rap sheet, man. Like, he was totally and sprinkle I'm just some like, crack on him. You don't he was need to, in a sub basement trying yeah. not he to be near anyone. He jumped out of you. <laughs> Fuck him. Yeah, he's a hobo <laughs> squatting in some sketchy coal tunnels underneath a museum that jumps out at you. If he jumps out, like, that's it. Yeah. Just, yeah, it's self-defense at that point. He yeah. jumped out of you. I don't know what he was going to do. He, he might have put his pecker on you. Just shoot him. <laughs> shoot his ass. <laughs> Fuck him. Shoot him before he shoots yeah, you. Yeah, that's right. In general, that's what tasers are for. Anyway. No, no, fuck it. So, <laughs> it's 97. But, yeah. but again, like, this is, this is again, me feeling like, yeah, you guys are just vamping. You are, you're clearly just, because, like, mm-hmm. oh, they're just killing this time. doesn't really make any yeah. sense. Like, it came out of nowhere. Movie so, without having a dinosaur well, I mean, puppet or whatever the hell. 
though. Yeah, they do. They do use this as yeah. the way to create the yep angst. Yeah, yeah they there's found something a there, shark, but not the shark. Yes. Yeah. yes, the security <laughs> director shows up and. Um, they cut him open on the docks. Yeah, they, <laughs> There's well, not a little child inside. Yeah, his they, find, yet. they find a little <laughs> coin on there this guy been. that belonged to one of the guys from the ship. Mm-hmm. So they're like, oh, well, he must have been the one on the ship that killed everyone and put him in the bilge. And Fits the description. He has an axe. He was clearly strong enough to have been yeah. able to rip somebody's head idea. out. Does he have any hypothalamus? Yeah. Uh, you know. <laughs> he might have eaten him. Like I said, they had to cut him open out of the docks to find yeah. a hypothalamus find in his body. Yeah. Yeah. And yep. they're like, oh, he does it with the axe. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, <He's>, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Which, I know that these aren't removed surgically by any means, but yeah. pretty sure you, that's not going to be that clean or smooth if you're yeah. using a fucking axe. Fire <laughs> axe. Uh, <laughs> all right, so and now the, the security director's like... Too. I remember seeing the, the well, blade of it. It, you know. it was just uh, yeah, that's unused. Yeah. But eh. he had all yeah, that sewer in yeah, it. Just licks it. <laughs> yeah. So the security director shows up and he's like, "Oh, someone needs to make a bad decision." So you oh, obviously you caught it. the guy. Let's do the gala yeah. tonight. Top Spice more is like, "Get the fuck out of here!" And he does. <laughs> so now the mayor calls, and because the mayor's just like, "You see my wife's tits." Because fucking Let's open the gala. Was we was like, gala. hey, we caught the guy. You should uh, tell this police officer that yeah. uh, I'm right because I need someone else yeah. to do that. Have you yeah. seen Jaws? We've seen Jaws. Make it happen. Yeah. I, so, uh, the ma- yeah, Dick the- Ben Ayn, good job on the kill there. <laughs> The mayor spends about a minute talking about his wife's tits before saying, like, let's have this gala. Uh, is real. Yeah, false and advertising. Yeah, you're fucker. just like, movie, come on. Those like, tits help me get her elected. False yeah. advertising. Um, so finally Tom Sizemore's like, okay, I we'll have I the gala. Four arms. But we're going to close the rest of the museum. And they're like, <laughs> fine. Okay, whatever. Gala <laughs> happening. Rest museum closed. We'll do security sweeps. <laughs> Whatever. I'm like, can we get to the friggin' monster? All right, listen. You can have the gallo in the three parts we built a set for. The rest of the museum yeah. closed. Yeah. Off. Yep. Off limits. Lynch. All right. Plot device. So now we cut to, to uh, Dr. Green working in her office. And <laughs> the, the biggest fucking, like, goopy-looking beetle comes rushing out of this styrofoam container. Well, she opens it's, it first. Like I mentioned before, it's an avocado with... Pipe yeah. Cleaner, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like no, I I know spontaneous evolution and all that, but yeah, like sure. no be no beetle can be that large, and like it's it's clearly like That's I said not an, true. an avocado with legs just shaking and like yeah. <laughs> you know moving on wheels towards her. Well, like you, if the... it was able to be that big, its carapace would have scaled proportionately. Yeah. So it presumably. wouldn't have been that easy to squish. Mm. Well, like it, that was it a big was ass like a book. Yeah, it not, was like a balloon. It just went. So the problem, <laughs> the problem with why you never have giant monster, you know, uh, bugs and whatnot, is because it doesn't scale up well. Yeah, like mm. that's why you you can't have like Attack of the Giant Ants or whatever. Like they don't, they can't get much bigger than they are because the, like they just don't hold weight very well with their <laughs> leg designs. I'm just pushing air through my limbs. This yeah. isn't working. And the plot it doesn't is, hold air either. Yeah. <laughs> this is again, uh, I guess, because they're hoping on. Uh, on how dark it is, but it is, I guess, supposed to be also part lizard and things. Maybe. Oh, that's right. It is yeah, part gecko. So, which is yeah. why it looks like a <laughs> avocado like a baked potato. <laughs> like, anyway, yeah, like a little yeah. bit of sour cream it's, on its back. Like, it's a baked potato. Big from ass last stupid year. bug puppet comes shooting out of the styrofoam container, and she slams a big ass heavy yeah. book on it, so, and it explodes mm-hmm. into. Fucking green guacamole. Water. Fuck the gala. You just discovered a new like species yes. right here. Yeah. yeah. Like fucking um so yeah, well, she's she starts she studying that. And um because they're well yeah. yeah, I like that she's freaking out and crushed it with a thing because everybody mm-hmm. knows that, you know, biologists afraid of bugs. It's the mm-hmm. first thing you you know about scientists. So she goes to talk to Dr. <clears throat> Gerbil and Dr. Gerbil. Um, he's like that's offensive because <clears throat> she identified that it's mostly you know it's part beetle and it's part this other species he's a latin like, name came up that she yeah. didn't recognize mm. was just like that's a gecko there's mm. some type of gecko he's like i'm gonna go steal your grant now she's like fuck you and, 
basically. The beetle and gecko DNA have combined to make a scuttling baked potato monster. <laughs> yep. And now it's it's gala time. People people shuffle into the museum. Gala You're monster. Like, you know, <laughs> here come the victims. Can we yeah. finally get this started? Oh, oh, are you here to be canfire? I'm here to be canfire. Are you here to be canfire too? And so the movie's like, all right, I know you want a monster on a rampage through a crowd of people eating people left and right. Best I can do <laughs> is Tom Sizemore, two dogs, a shotgun, and some old redneck. Close <laughs> That's all I got. Yeah. Um, do you want it to be lit? Oh, no. God, no. <clears throat> Good. I'll buy a candle yeah. if you got it. I, I mean, <laughs> birthday candle, preferably. Yeah. Tom Sizemore can be a little scary, but in the dark, he's real scary. Uh, I can so, give yeah, you one mag light. Uh, two of the batteries have already died. <laughs> Perfect. The yeah. other two were okay. very much on the way out. Can you take the remaining functional mag light and just smack it against a wall a couple times and see what happens? Actually, that's, oh, yeah. that's yeah. a good question that I'd like to, I'd like to turn to John. Because, John, you are, as far as I am aware, the most knowledgeable person I know about flashlights. In the 90s. Did you say mm-hmm. Flashlights? Flashlights. Today? Okay. Not fleshlights. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can do And if you stop 90s, fucking your microphone, I'd Did really they have it. Thank you. better flashlights than these? Um, not really. Because I know before, like, the LED, the, yeah, the LED, they were just garbage. Yeah, the All LED had not gone into popular mass production in flashlights yet. So the best you had was uh, trying to think of the name of the bulb that was in the mag lights. Well, like these big, seemed, these like, seemed like they were those very good at a, well, they were moderate at a very specific spot. Yeah. And I remember when I was younger lights. dealing yeah. with incandescent this is bulbs, this is they had become. a better spread. <clears throat> and in all of these movies, I always see just this narrow ass dim fucking beam. Yeah, Speaking well, this beam narrow, was, so it was bright, but it was, it was extra. narrow, but mm. that's because they were Better choosing than, than what's going on here. Yeah. To focus the Let's lens on sex. the flashlight was meant to, right. to focus um, more of a okay. tight beam. Um, but I yeah, I think it was like I Krypton like in the, in the back, Can I be in, in the, the bulbs. Cause... Krypton. Yeah, no, literally fun. like oh, okay. Krypton oh, okay. gas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Oh, okay. Yep. I think I'm just going to, it's cool. That produced like your best incandescent flashlight mm-hmm. bulb at the time you want to come for it you want to come watch, yeah, you watch it yeah. so that's what they had I got running on like you a can jack lantern it. battery like one of those oh yeah i remember those things that's half the size of a car battery yep i mean that's up to joe really yeah. oh yeah yeah bags we're on. back bags we're on. back oh what okay oh, hey all right so, <laughs> so okay um <laughs> thank you joe. all right good job guys just p- prepare for a long slog, dear <laughs> listeners, of just, we just had it. coal tunnels and darkness, shitty flashlights. Shitty yeah. flashlights. The best you get is a half lit Tom Sizemore, and just nothing happening. Yeah, a Tom just, half size. Just nothing happening. It's a and, wet mess of nothing. Now, mind you, like I like the idea of a monster using old tunnels to get around the city. And that's how it got from the boat to the museum. And like, pretty sure that's been done several times. Well, but yeah, <laughs> but I mean, the parts of yes. this movie are cool <laughs> enough. Like, you know, we're in a cool museum mm-hmm. that like, I'd like to see a bunch of, and it's just, it's, it wouldn't be hard to just go an extra couple steps and make this that even passable, but it's mm-hmm. just, it's nah. just a fucking slog. So, okay. Uh, what is, where even am I in the notes? I got lost. Um, We're past the hobo. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Just go back in. the two dogs. So now yep. Dr. Green figures out that the hormone on the leaf is the same as the hormone found in a human hypothalamus. So. Except much more concentrated. Much more concentrated. Right. Yeah. Right. So they decide it's. So she a, has to find the lieutenant. It's like a super virus. Mm hmm. So <laughs> in this museum with this big public gala going on. Mm hmm. They have unleashed a new super virus, and they're yep. just like, yeah, yeah, you know, it's cool. Well, they don't know that. They All do. They, they said is... it. They said it out loud. They said, well, oh, yeah. it's, a, it's a virus. Well, I think what he's saying is uh, Dr. Green knows that now. Right. She's trying to get word to the lieutenant, but nobody right. else knows yet. Yeah. Right, but, like, they mm-hmm. haven't, like, They just know about the mayor's tips. That's it. I mean, oh. I, I would say from what we see in a very short amount of time with the mass amount of security that apparently this... 
uh, museum has <laughs> that is also somehow lacking. Mm-hmm. It's weird. Yeah. Uh, but she probably should have somewhere she could go and hit a button, close all these doors, and be like, yeah. we are now quarantined until we figure yes. this shit out. Yeah. Right. Right. Well, it's, yeah, it's also, it's implied it's not that type of virus where it's just like, well, yeah. it's out I in mean, the air now. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, you specifically have to ingest the infected leaves. I mean, they oh, she does. Oh, maybe she yeah. had. Yeah. I should also point out at this point, Dr. Frock, the, the guy in the wheelchair, has showed up. Um, yeah. And he... Is he's old. like, we have to go to Dagala. And yes. she's like, it's a 90s movie, so we have to at least for a couple seconds, even if it's in the dark, have to see you change your clothes yeah. in front of the camera. I um, haven't been all that sexy yet, so we need to yeah. bump that up. She's like, should By my like tits a come out? And it's of like, a half. It's not. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's we don't like, need to try that hard. No. Well, yeah, she's no. good looking. We just need to yeah. have you in your underwear for. Like, listen, you're good time. looking enough to be in it, but at some point you need to be in a bra or, bi- or bikini. That's, yeah. just, that's, that's just the just rules. That's just yeah. the rules. And we need tits, but we we found a way Get around that with this old. Yeah. yeah. Don't, don't worry about that. <laughs> All right. So. Pointless scene Just of her sure changing into a good and dead by the time this changing yeah. scene comes along. She's in a formal gown now, and then it's like a cocktail dress. Yeah, uh, hey, formal gown. Whatever. whatever. She's in her her for her her gala attire. She looks nice. A little yeah. black dress. Yeah. Pretty All right. So nice. she's you know there's still she's still like we still have to do some science and now we need to find Lieutenant Augusta because uh, something's eating hypothalamuses and uh, it ain't me. Yeah, it's, it's combining DNA. <laughs> Uh, there's a crime against nature happening. Um, I want to study it. You should probably tell the police. So now the the Blazemores arrive, the ones that are like giving out the the grant, and you think this is going to go somewhere? Nope, it does not. Nope. You don't even find out <clears> what never, happens. To never no mentioned again. To them. All right. Uh, we know what happens to the gerbil though. Mm-hmm. A mayor shows up with his wife. No, no cleavage mm-hmm. worth talking about. Oh. What the hell? See, everybody so, knows that, but they're afraid of the mayor because he will break your kneecaps if you tell him. Well, he said he, he was like elected on that cleavage. He that said, was his claim. Again, yeah. I, I don't want to defend this movie too much, but like looking at the rest of that gala, maybe that's the best they got around. Yeah. Wow. All right. I mean, nobody's seen Dr. Green really, you know, mm-hmm. step it off up, Chicago. You're on blast. <laughs> yeah. Last place with pizza and cleavage. <laughs> we want some, we want some cleavage pics in the email. All right, no, so Jesus pizza. Not, um, true. not true. Yeah, not true. All right, so now security's like, all right, so here's what we're gonna do. No, we're gonna just lock down the entire like lab wing. Just close all these metal doors that are oh, unoverridable. They yeah, didn't no, want they didn't to do, do that. that. The that? system did. The monster. Well, no, 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 not yet. Not yet. This is the part where they're like, they're locking down all the non-Gala areas. Oh, that's areas. right, yeah. They did lock and down the labs. They, oh, oh, yeah. The they, hamster said that it was empty. Yeah, that's it, because the hamster lies, and he's yeah. like, yeah, he knows that... Um, the hamster? Doc, the, yeah. the gerbil. Dr. Gerbil. Oh, okay. Dr. Dr. Gerbil. Dr. Gerbil. Let's be respectful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So just to clarify, you want you want him to be respectful. So you want to you want him to correct himself and not say the hamster to say the gerbil, the right. thing you don't want him to say because it's offensive. Right. All right. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> you, can, you can say it if it's in that's context. offensive to hamsters. But if you say gerbil in context, it's not offensive because I understand he's just he's using it just to explain what's happening. You he's, told me straight up. Don't yeah, I told you. you. I said no such such thing. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. That's a different rule set for Brett. My mistake. There's well, always, I, I always, you always. You can call him Doctor Gerbil because it's yeah. it's your word. I didn't call him Doctor Gerbil. Uh, yeah, I no. that was you because you have hate in your heart. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, um, all right. Bottom line. Dr. Green, Dr. Frock, they're locked in the lab wing. They can't get out. So they're they're going looking for, for other ways out. And these metal security fire doors, there's no code to override them. There's no there's no They're hard also key. a no. fucking bunker. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like you need in a library. The Louvre I keep might saying have doors like that. Yeah. But. All right. So now uh, Lieutenant Augusta, he finds that the coal tunnels proper and he's like, we find out these go all the way to Lake Michigan. They were used way back when, when everything ran on coal to get coal around the city without uh, having to actually carry it on carts and whatnot. And you're like, cool. Okay, that makes sense. Good explanation. Can we leave them now? No. 
No. Um, this has dragon realms. Yep. The uh, so they leave the guy with the shotgun behind, and they go and like, let's go take these dogs uh, ahead, see what they can sniff. And the dogs immediately fly off the handle and get away from the handler, like all good sniffing dogs. They do. dubbed the dogs they the did. entire mm-hmm. goddamn way because they're whimpering, they're growling, mm-hmm. doing all kinds of things that you would not expect a dog to just randomly mm-hmm. do. Unless you hit them a lot of times and they don't know what's going on. So, well-trained German Shepherd immediately runs away from the handler. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Perfect. That's exactly how police yeah. dogs do. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, they run off. So well, now the isn't guy... is that kind of the idea, though? Like, this monster is so hyenas that it scares even the most professional dogs away? Well, I'm sure that's they the don't idea, get scared but, uh, until they make the mistake of running towards the, it. And the dog is like, I'm too old for this shit. So now... <laughs> Now the dog handler's like, I gotta go get myself killed. You know, so he runs ahead after dogs. Everyone's running places. Uh, we find one of the dogs is immediately killed. And, and thrown back at them. <laughs> yeah. A yeah, bloody Watch. puppet is tossed back. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Makes the handler lose his mind. So uh, Tom Sizemore here, Lieutenant Augusta. He gives is his... Is it Augusta or D'Augusta? D'Augusta. D'Augusta. But at that point, I didn't realize there's a D, yeah. so it's, it's Augusta it's in my notes. The D is silent. It's Italian for disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> so he, he dispatches his uh, partner here, Hollister, to go back to the museum and tell everyone to evacuate. He's like, wave the shotgun around. That'll get him out. Yeah. Um, I mean... Go over well <laughs> yeah, and got I mean, with the mayor and yeah. stuff. Yeah. So Well, it'll empty the place out, but you're not going to have a career after that. So we find dog number two, who's now just standing still, just like, if I don't move, it can't get me. The handler catches it. Like a T-Rex. Please don't kill me. <laughs> and he gets yeah, killed. Staring in the corner like the Blair Witch. Um, See, the dog was smart. It was using the human as bait. It was like, you know, if it eats the human, it, it'll be full, and then it won't eat me. Yep. So now it's just Tom Sizemore. Now, and he finds the dog, and he finds this monster's nest, and there's a bunch of victims there, and bones, and whatnot, and spooky, spooky. Um, and while this is happening, the rest of the people at the gala start to enter the superstition exhibit Stupor-tion. with the mayor. <laughs> um, and uh, it, they take them into the Amazon room with the Kathoga amulet and talk about that. And mm-hmm. blood starts dripping down from the ceiling. Mm-hmm. whoa that's a bad um, and a decapitated body gets dropped from the ceiling uh, Ooh, into a display well case full of investors. spears. Yeah, I was half expecting um, the okay. director to be like, "Don't worry, it's just part of the exhibit. <laughs> like, don't freak out. It's that, part of the exhibit." It's is fine. this the There's guy no we're gonna be that he to just that killed in the tunnels? Did he bring him all the way up here to throw them? I don't know. They don't. Yeah, it was well. It was either him or it was one of the two security guards Mm. that we we just skipped over. The guys that were in the security office Mm. trying to get Mm -hmm. things going. No, they're they still haven't died yet. Both of them are Mm. still alive. Well, Mm. if it helps you any, because the power um, hasn't cut out yet either. I Mm. think this scene got cut, but at some point he does find that room from the Super Mario Brother movie, Mm -hmm. and he might have just taken a warp pipe up back up there. Yeah, it makes Mm -hmm. sense. Checks out. So it's probably the dog handler. Mm. Yep. All right. So people start running out of the exhibit. At the same time, this monster has apparently sabotaged the electrical system. But they're zooming in on the the relic as if, like, the, the relic from the Amazon is somehow supernaturally orchestrating this. Mm-hmm. Um, and from what I could tell when it was being rebuilt. It's just concrete. Yeah. <laughs> like it was just carved concrete. Well, yeah, again, I think this might have been one of those scenarios of like, oh, here's the scary monster mm. is kind of what it's going to look like when we can finish the puppet. Yeah. <laughs> like, the, the museum's generators explode. Um, apparently the museum's making its own power. I don't know. They don't have power coming from anywhere on the outside. Uh, it causes these big ass metal doors to slam down like bunkers. Yep. And yeah. trap a bunch of people in the superstition exhibit. A bunch of people start doing like hardcore parkour and getting smushed. <laughs> I feel real bad for that one woman who goes into like oh. the spinny door, which granted in an emergency, never go for the fucking spinny door. All right. Um, but like she gets pushed up against the wall and like blood spurts out of her. Real brief brick history yep. um, oh. story. Mm-hmm. I went for an interview once and I brought like a fairly large backpack with me. Because at the time, I was carrying all of my shit in my backpack. Mm-hmm. 
And I, I legit got stuck in revolving doors, but I did that at the same time as a businessman was in the other side of the revolving yep. doors. So like my bag got stuck in the doors. Neither of us could move. He hit the glass. <laughs> So it was a cartoon moment. Like the bag wouldn't let me go far enough to hit the glass, but it did just like immediately jerk me. It's back. one of those doors that it won't go in the other direction. Right into, the, into the door. Well, yeah, it wouldn't. It wouldn't yeah. let you rotate it back. So I had to wrench my bag out from between. Okay, Good I'm done. <laughs> And eventually right. he just beat the living shit out of you. Oh, he wanted to. Yeah. He no, but he was in his mad. own separate uh, he was. little pod. He was. All right. <laughs> so the security systems malfunction. The museum loses power. Uh, the, these doors lock everyone in. Fire sprinklers turn on just just because. Mm-hmm. And um, a bunch of people get trampled. Now, people are, like, running out of the museum, the ones that got out before the doors slammed down. Mm-hmm. And they're doing, like, pirouettes and parkours and whatnot down the stairs. Backflips. Yeah. Um, they're Darwining themselves out mm-hmm. of existence. Yeah, like the elderly are known to do. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, so now the um, the two people operating the security system, one of them's like, hey, I'm going to go to the other room and get killed. The other guy's like, fine, I'll stay here and die. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't lock the door. Don't, I don't like it no. when you do that. Yeah, yeah I don't. I get scared by myself. <laughs> in fairness, that guy probably does just lock him in there because he's an asshole. <laughs> oh. Don't tell me what to do, bitch. <laughs> so I'm Chicago over here. This thing destroyed the backup system too. And by the way, uh, everybody sounds like they're from New York and not Chicago. By the way, in this yeah. movie, just just ends up. So operator number one comes back out of the power room. He's like, "Oh, the generator's fucked." And the other, he's like, hey, why ain't you moving? The other guy's like, hey, I ain't got no head. And his, <laughs> <laughs> his head does like a 180 because his neck's just hanging on by a thread. And he's like, Because he oh. didn't lock the door. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So he's like, oh, no. Something <laughs> killed you. It's going to kill me. Oh. No, he's Italian. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> I don't know. He was Luigi. panicking. Yeah. He's panicking. He got hey, it oh, wow. All right. I'm dying over here. <laughs> yeah. So now Degusta here, uh, I put find some dead people. I forget where, but he gets on the oh, he ever. gets on the intercom. Oh, he, he finds them in the the water down there, mm-hmm. and he's yeah. like, he talks to the mayor. He's like, Mayor, shut up. You can fire me Monday if you want, but right now I'm still in charge. So you get your wife and her tits and go in the coal tunnels with my partner. Flat ass tits. And just, it'll take you right across the street. Just take the tunnels across the street. And you're I fine. like the way he puts this, though. Yeah. Mayor is like, or why? He's like, or you're not going to live until the next election. He's like, oh, all right. Yeah, I actually <laughs> care about that. <laughs> so, and here's where we get, like, all the people that the script clearly oh. wants to kill are like, I'll stay behind for, like, no reason. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah, at least for the Blazemores. They are too rich to yeah. go crawling around in dookie mm-hmm. water. Well, and what well, the guy's like, hey, my wife is just too damn old. We're just not going to be able to do that. <laughs> I, mean, I think the other thing was, like, well, how are we supposed to find our way through the caves? Like, just find this little goblin woman in there. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. I'll take my chances here. Yeah, no, she keeps Perhaps. demanding gems to show us any further through yeah. the caves. <laughs> I will take you to the monkey, please. I'm going to need some gems. So Dr. Gerbil's like, well, I'm going to stay here and die. I watched you bite a diamond in half. Because I'm going to try to pitch my research. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. While we're getting rained on. First fucking thing he says is, can I get you a drink? Yep. I'm like, this fucking deck. And it's like, you know, Mm. you're lucky if they're going to find anything in the museum anymore. Mm. But whatever. The security chief is like, I'm not going to do the thing that the detective said because I only make bad decisions. Can I get you an espresso? He is consistent. It's Mm. Dick's move. So... (laughs) All right, now, uh, so, yeah, one party's heading through the coal tunnels to escape. One party's staying put in the main superstition exhibit hall. And you got Tom Sizemore on the loose. Um, And he finds Dr. Green and Dr. Frock. Doing it. Doing it. (laughs) Um, Right on the wheelchair. In the wheelchair. (laughs) So... Rocking and rolling. <laughs> Before they really can say anything of note, the monster finds them. And I think this is really where we get the first, like, kind of good view of it. And I by good, so. I mean, like, most no, of it's in the frame. Full view it, it. Yeah. it is mostly revealed. 
Yep. And we are <laughs> mostly unhappy. We get to see it so, to completion. Mm, now, is it's, it's a flop. I want to talk about something interesting rather than what's going on in this movie. <laughs> Do we think this is a badly designed monster or is it just a terrible uh, CGI? Like, would, can this monster have been cool? I mean... Well, it's not all CGI. There is a well, lot Well, there's of puppets. Practical. Here's the thing. But this is CGI right well, now. Well, yeah. We know that the Stan CGI. Winston is yeah. very capable. Yeah. This is like phoning, phoning it, in. it in. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, exactly. Like, this seems like Stan, Stan Winston phoning it in. This is like, he just took, he was like, okay, give me that head, <laughs> uh, a couple of those arms over From there. From what I understand, that's basically how the process was, except the director was making those choices. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. the okay. thing. Is Again, in the, the story, there's like, I think, a very loose description of what this thing is. But we're told it has the DNA of like mm. lizard, the yeah. gecko, the I lion. The, it. So it's a he's like, yeah, how do I make this still. thing? Yeah. It I'm looks kind of. Yeah, yeah, I'm not no. saying it's the most impressive, mm-hmm. but also for their budget, it's probably it's the like most the terror dog do. from Ghostbusters yeah. with a predator with a, face, with a long tail and a predator head. Yeah. So I said this in a previous po- podcast that mm-hmm. with a little bit of Harry and the Hendersons thrown in, that. <laughs> that I think I I perceive visuals differently from other people because mm-hmm. my brain was just like that's the monster. It has problems. No, we all with, thought it was monster. like anatomy. Mm-hmm. And you don't want to get bit by it. And it's heavy. And that's the extent that my brain needed to worry about it. So I never saw bad CGI. I never mm-hmm. saw any of those problems. Those were literally the only characteristics my brain retained. Mm-hmm. And you're the reason they keep making Transformers movies. Mm-hmm. I have mm-hmm. seen one of them. So no, they're not. Because mm-hmm. I don't fund them. <laughs> but anyway. You're not understanding my statement. That we make <laughs> a statement not true. <laughs> <laughs> Right. So, yeah, yeah. The way I I saw it, I'm like, you know, the head is a little like the head could have been better, but I thought the body and everything was okay. I would have preferred if it's something that's spontaneously evolving very rapidly. I would yeah. have liked there to be parts that didn't work, like atrophied limbs mm. or yeah, like like, like, like a crappy too, head like that well, is just abandoned. Limbs, maybe. Yeah. To be or, fair, it did have mm. asthma. <laughs> yeah, give, it, give it a head on its tail. Give it, like, yeah. make it sprout wings at some point. It couldn't figure out how it wanted to breathe. Yeah. 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 Breathe out it of literally looks like, like, shit, I brought gills. Yeah, it looks like they just took a lizard monster body and mm. threw, like, they were like, uh... Hey, where's the old Giver costumes? Mm-hmm. Uh, put, put that head on it there. It does look like a Giver creature. Yeah, and, yeah, and then what? they just called it a Also, what? what's a Giver? Did, don't, we'll get to it. We'll um, yeah. roll it. Also, now I, I do, I want a cut of this movie where like this giant, you know, Godzilla monster drops down and like it finally comes into the light and it's the face of a pug. <laughs> 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 little can't breathe mouth all right eyes are about to fall out of its skull <laughs> yeah all right so it like smashes against the door a bunch of times dents to hell the door it smashes his dick and then just i guess it pisses on the door uh, no, whoever I think it, it was just smashes the door to completion if you don't know yeah i mean it could have ejaculated it the fuck that out of that door. Viscous, whoever it was viscous. that did the practical effects or whatever these were for the door mm-hmm. doesn't know how basic physics work because yes. the topmost corner of the door pops forwards that would be probably one of the stronger parts of the door so it wouldn't just bend forward randomly without the rest of the door equally bending forward i was uh, very upset about that you want to it was just like the topmost. It was like being bookmarked almost or earmarked. Yeah, I think actually with the way the lock mechanisms were on the doors, that would make sense. Okay, also, really? Yeah. Room, room. yeah. Also, wait. Well. <laughs> you noticed that, but not when people suddenly turn into little cartoons and get their heads ripped off. I can only tell you what my brain does, not mm. why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Believe me, so, I, I've tried. It. Mm. <laughs> All right, so now they're like, well, it's it just ejaculated, so it's going to be done for a while. We got some time. Let's talk about it. I'm going to use this bubble wrap to sop up its spooge that went through the door. I mean, and you know, here, whatever you got handy. Yeah, it's, it's resources. Yeah, tell me about sometimes. it. I mean, they basically they figure it out. They're like, all right, the Amazon tribe. Their so thing Tony's is, house is full of crunchy bubble wrap. That's right. <laughs> Snap, and smash pop. down don't doors. Lick me. <laughs> yes. 
Pretty much. <laughs> so, oh, you're not wrong. Yeah, not wrong. The uh, so they're basically like, all right, this the Kathoga tribe here. What they had, they have these eggs, and they'd mutate animals, and then they'd go hide. And like the enemies that were coming for them would find these crazy mutant animals that would eat their hypothalamus because it needs the hypothalamus to keep things going. And then after it ate everybody, it's like, oh shit, I ain't got no more hypothalamuses. I guess I'll just die. And then the Kathoga could come back out. And they're like, okay, movie, that's fine. That's, that's, accept, I accept that. I missed mm. all of that yeah. exposition. <laughs> um, you know, so, okay, makes sense as a defense mechanism. Scientifically, it doesn't make a lot of yeah, sense. Okay. Yeah. But, you know, that's a better explanation than you get from most of these movies. Yep, that's fair. They, right. they tried. They didn't yep. do any homework before they tried, but they did try. So Dr. Frox, like, uh, I'm in a wheelchair and you basically just threw me down the stairs to get here. So um, I'm not going upstairs. Just I'm lock me in a storage today. closet and I'll die. Yeah, that sounds <laughs> fair. They're like, yeah, that's fine. It's usually what I tell Sharon. Yeah, yeah. It's I'm my time to go. <laughs> so um, now the cops and the SWAT team show up. And they're surrounding the museum. And uh, they're... Um, Dr. Green and D'Augusta go back to her office and uh, Bang. You know, D'Augusta <laughs> t- tells her about his lucky bullet. That it, was, it was meant to kill him, but it didn't fire. But it's not a dud because the forensics people were like, it's a perfect it, it, bullet. Would, it yeah. should. It's a perfect bullet. Yeah, it should have worked. So the forensics people probably just lied to him. <laughs> but, um, the well, fire well, that? could have been the problem with the gun and stuff. Mm. What? The fire department show up, and they're like, giant fire door. Let's just weld right through that. Right. And I was, actually, I was asking people today, um, because I'm like, the fire department should have a key to that door. Like, it'll probably take them a little while to find it, but it'll probably take less time than welding through the fucking door. door. Mm -hmm. Like, because, yeah, when you have a major public building, you give the fire department a key to that door. Well, yeah, of course. That's just common sense. I think the thing, that door couldn't move without power. That is not a thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's, that it has to have some kind of like manual override or like. Even if, even if it doesn't. Yeah. Not like, if a child's well, writing the script. There, mm. it's, a, it's a mechanism. Like, yeah. you just so, undo the mechanism. So, like, the. Just the, shoot the pa- panel. And the yeah. door to Cheyenne Mountain that can take an indirect hit from a nuclear weapon can be moved <clears throat> by a person without any power. It's crazy well balanced. Yeah, yeah. I think overall the point is pretty much any way you look at this, there are faster ways than welding yeah. mm-hmm. through it. So lightsaber. <laughs> I mean, yep. that's I what mean, I said while watching. I was either like, that or it's just a straight up Jedi? like illegal portcullis, and like yeah. they just cut corners when they were building the museum. It's an old ass no museum. Maybe, Having yeah. said that, it occurred to me that the fire department probably would have also known about the tunnels. Yeah. And probably would have also gone down there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, all right. So while the fire department's welding through the fire door, no the mu- museum security director, he's like, I've had enough. I'm just ranting about whatever. And um, he gets killed by the monster. Yay. Yeah, this world. Roll credits. The, uh, the cop that stayed behind with them. He's like, I'm going to shoot at it. Bang, bang. Then he gets... No, I'm sorry. He doesn't even get to shoot. He runs into melee range, then gets in his firing stance, then gets tail slapped by the monster. I thought he tried to shoot and it was like... He, he fired didn't. a bunch of rounds. I could swear. I don't think he... Like, I think he pulled the trigger and there, it was like he didn't load his gun or something. I was like... Oh, that's f-? right. Yeah. It yeah. didn't it Because didn't he fire. was like, I'm fully loaded before they, yeah. they parted ways. And he's like, I've got all I... You know, basically all I need. Then he... Freaking empties an empty clip at it. Yeah, it's and a whole like, bunch of lucky bullets. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> the ending of the movie, the relic is like, "This is my lucky bullet." Props from the rust set. All right, um, I so was just thinking me... that. <laughs> Let me check with everyone else here. Sus. This movie, because it's it's gone at such a slow pace mm. and like teased a monster for so long and hasn't really done anything to build suspense. Like well, a so good movie cleavage. that would do that. Um, it's T's Cleveland and had, and had Cleveland. <laughs> we got Cleveland. And Cleveland. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hasn't yeah. delivered. Um, at this point, do you care at all about this monster rampage? No, not really. Yeah. Like, it's like, it's just movie. You had your chance. 
This is know, one of I, the rare occurrences when I actually found myself saying, can this just be over? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's not a good sign when I Brick think, is impatient for the other movie. we started doing other stuff. We started doing yeah. stuff long before this. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, eating pizza. Yeah, this is... I, I, I don't know. As a kid, I really uh, appreciated this, the the creature and the design mm-hmm. and everything. And, and I, I remember at least liking it enough to... Uh, finding some enjoyment out of it but yeah now it's just like holy hell i you know i'll i can just google <laughs> relic yeah. creature and just yeah. think of my own shit i remember yeah i remember this movie a lot more fondly so we're, yeah. we're not even at that part the, the beast podcast and we're all like let's just be done the beast <laughs> chases the gerbil into the superstition exhibit and you get a thing where like gerbil scares himself in his reflection and then actually sees the the monster in the reflection gets eaten and uh yeah and we we like it kills everyone basically who stayed behind we don't see what happened to the blaze Moors, but we could assume that it killed them. yeah they're dead yeah, uh, coming well, back actually, to the monster was going to ask them for a grant that's true <laughs> yeah. yeah actually um, it was <laughs> my grant proposal more hypothalamus yeah. <laughs> so um <laughs> Back at Dr. Green's office, according to the test, the monster is turning into a reptile. It's turning Japanese. I really yeah. think so. And here we get the worst SWAT team in the world. Storm the roof. <laughs> yeah. Just come crashing through it the was, windows. Yes, it was the SPLAT team. Yeah, the SPLAT team. <laughs> oh my god, this was aggravating. This is really when I was yeah. like, I'm done with this. Because <laughs> so, they start coming in, they're like, alright, I'm going to send one guy in. Oh, he's killed? Alright, well, I'm going to send the next guy in. Uh, oh, he died too? All right. Uh, next guy, you Three go. Three times like, the charm. Yeah. No. Third, third guy's what like, wait a minute. Everyone's yeah. dying. Eventually we'll wear Pull him me back out. out. Yeah. Well, he didn't even say that until he yeah. saw the monster and saw people actually yeah. like. But how did no one see? Th- First of all, they should have like, not that this is a good plan, but like blow out all those windows. Everybody goes down. Like you're it's in the room. how they try Boom. to do yeah. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're going to uh, get this thing drunk on the hypothalamus. Instead, <laughs> there's got to be one guy about to go at least, um, but, but, you know, after the the first guy. Mm-hmm. But he's got to be the one watching as this thing, like, snatches one dude right off the rope, well, chases another one down. Yeah, That guy didn't even make it to the ground, and they're like, send the next dude. Yeah. yeah well, <laughs> yeah, it's they not just thought like he it's... was efficient at his job. Just cut the line, you yeah. know, just get down there faster. No, it's not like it's being <laughs> subtle, like, yeah. at all. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then, like, I understand there's a sense of urgency because, like, people are dying in that hall yeah like the but, SWAT team <laughs> yeah but like yeah someone should at least be watching the results of what they're doing yeah. and evaluating they are gone fishing so yeah the last guy almost gets out he's climbing out the window and they get half a dude um, so because the monster bit him in half <clears throat> another thing about physics they made it a point every time this thing moved how loud it is and like heavy banging like very heavy, and mm. I, I I will give the Foley people credit. I like the way Speaking it sounded. Banging, mm. It was a yeah, good banging yeah, okay. sound, but it climbs upside down on granite. Yeah, no. Yeah. Oh no, it's, it's like, got no. it's part. It's gecko. got gecko feet. That's it. That's all you need in the world. <laughs> the granite of lazy ain't gonna writing. let you do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think you just gotta accept that oh, any like physics or real science. I know, but long like gone yeah. from that shit. These are the uh, things that I observe. Not the bad CGI. It's it's when you've gone that far. What? Why sure wouldn't enough. the granite let you do that? It would have pulled the granite out of the... It did. <laughs> no, I mean like the whole freaking the block. Well, <laughs> yeah, the monster, like, it wouldn't have supported the monster's weight. And the monster, like, wouldn't be able to support his own weight with huh. little gecko sucky cups. Like, yeah. It, it would. It would. Yeah. That thing would have weighed at least a couple tons. Yeah, it's and not. It's not climbing upside not, down yeah. on a wall. No, it I'll give you structural. Maybe damage. its claws could let it climb up a horizontal wall, but it's not like yeah. fucking Stallone cliffhanger exactly. along there. Yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, <laughs> now the monster goes. It immediately just is like, I gotta go to the basement and eat Doctor Frock. <laughs> um. And we find out now that the monster started out as a person mm-hmm. back in Dr. Green's office. Um, and they're like, all right, well, it's turning into a reptile. So it doesn't like extreme changes in temperature. So we'll get it with this liquid nitrogen and we'll lure it with the, the leaves that it likes. 
Um, and uh, they immediately find Dr. Frock, who's been eaten. And again, um, like Dr. Green has a like five second emotional collapse. And then she's like, oh, the heels are coming off. This thing's got to die. You know, she means business. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Like, I'm done with my freak out. You got five seconds of woo. And now it's like she's Rambo. I mean, also, like, this is the second yeah. time. Like, we had the bathroom scene with a guard who, at least she didn't know him that well. Yeah. But this is the second time. Like, this is now someone she cares about. And uh, Sergeant, F- uh, Lieutenant, whatever, is like, yo, oh, no, don't, don't look. Yeah. Don't look. Don't. So, yeah, at least like, we got some stay back. Her. But if, in fairness, that's how D'Augusta asked, like, acts to everything. That's really, true. Yeah. Yeah, so and I guess I was yeah, just this about is her to mention that hero moment is that mm-hmm. they depicted her initially as fairly emotional yeah. because she's a woman, and of course they're going to treat her that way. Well, so I mean, just a human, like what emotional? She saw a dead body, d- I mean, like, yeah, splayed across the bathroom, and she freaked out. But the cop is not like that, and other people are not necessarily like that. So, I mean, presumably so she's it, she's yeah. cast as somebody who's it's extra one, emotional. But also it's one other person person is overacting. The other cops were also having yeah. a hard time with the dead bodies. Yeah, well, well they we, were having a hard time not tripping over their own feet in certain cases. That's but. true. <laughs> yeah, but I, I will. Say, I wouldn't say necessarily she was over emotional, but she is emotional. All right. No, it was it's, it's it was one actress switch. overacting yeah. in a room full of people underacting. Yeah, but if it was written yeah. now, she would just look at it and be like, "I will avenge him." Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Or no, like <laughs> it was his. It was his own fault. He died. <laughs> Stupid man. Stupid man. Yeah. Uh, Didn't it? write my grant. <laughs> yeah. It was his penis that brought him down. <laughs> Jesus. I'm gonna go kung fu fight this monster. Right. That's... Exactly. Hand to hand. Well, yeah. That, this fucking monster. It depends on who's you know, doing it. At some point, but... she will have her thighs around the monster's neck yeah. and give it a hurricane. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's... That's happening. I mean, She'll that punch it in sure. the face, and it'll like and yeah. collapse. Yeah. Yeah. And the dick, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah anyway. So, but then she'll just find out that it's actually uh, a mother and it's protecting its eggs. The real monster and was I would have gotten away, away with it too yeah. if it wasn't for you meddling kids. Or that. <laughs> anyway. One thing is she'll find right. herself by the end of the movie. So in, mm. in the tunnels now, the the um, party that's trying to get out through the coal tunnels, they get a... They get attacked. The yeah. other cop... Go quiet that, and go slow. Yep. Hey, guy in the back! <laughs> yeah. You still okay? Hey, guy in the no, front! Yeah, so yeah I am! The, I'm a black guy in a horror movie. Yep. I'm not okay. Yeah! yeah immediately in... Um, that's two for two. Both of the black guys in this movie are, are dead. Mm-hmm. And um, then it eats like one of the other women. Then it's like, oh shit, I smell my leaves. I gotta go. Mm-hmm. So it... Uh, yeah, it moves away. It has to take out. its I leave. Tend my flowers. Yeah. So God, that's a little creature. That's sweet, sweet. So Augusta gives Doctor Green the lucky bullet, and he's like, "I'm gonna go put the leaves on this grate. Put this in your tits." And uh, <laughs> yeah, the Which monster. Does. The monster yeah. attacks. It's got Augusta on one side, Doctor Green on the other side, and like. They shoot at it. They hit, shoot the liquid nitrogen at it, which I'm pretty sure would just freeze the water. Mm. Well, I guess maybe it wasn't coming out fast uh, enough. Yeah, I was yeah. thinking about yeah. that. And uh. I think everybody in that area would have died because all the mm. oxygen would have left. Nah. And you would have suffocated because you can't breathe in nitrogen only. <laughs> maybe you can't. No, yeah. I cannot. No, Pro- probably... Just... You're not as cool as us. It was just a, it was a small canister of liquid nitrogen, yeah. which that's another, even though it was a small canister, like when we say small, it's like, it's sco- like a fire scuba ex- tank yeah. size. Fire yeah. Extinguisher. Yeah. yeah. And those fuckers are heavy. Yeah. Like yep. I've carried around one of those full of carbon dioxide mm-hmm. and they've got to weigh like 60 pounds at, mm-hmm. at least. Mm-hmm. So Tom Sizemore is a big guy. But he's more sized. He, he he would not be carrying that he's thing around miles of tunnels, carrying an empty tank around. Yeah, an aluminum um, one. So I think you forgot. Yeah. She has taken off her heels. It's go time for everybody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Also, I mean, I know it was Jaws, but, but like, could you have just shoved the tank in its mouth and shot it and? Not that's without a lawsuit. Not, that would be too far. Yeah, not that's without a lawsuit. Far. I think that's the gerbil line. That's the gerbil line. Okay, yeah. <laughs> fair enough. What if they shoved it up its butt? I, or, oh, I'm sorry, it's Cloaca. I would have paid extra for that. Yeah, it could have had a butt. 
Like with if, a cloaca. If the cloaca with, came, with a cloaca inside, out, like yeah, alien like, style. Yeah. And, and enveloped it. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Pulled it in. Yeah. And like a VCR. That's when you could just like be like, fuck VCR. you. <laughs> I, I feel like that's absolutely got to be a gerbil line. But yeah. either, either way. <laughs> All right. In the end, they didn't have enough liquid nitrogen yep. to do the job, and the thing gets away. And yeah, so they, they run. Um, and now, so uh, it recovers from that pretty quick. The mayor and everybody in that party escapes. They get out through the tunnels. Um, Dr. Green goes back to her lab. Um, so oh, and, so. and it finds out at the lab that the, doc, the monster is Dr. Whitney from the beginning of the movie. Mm. You're Should've like, oh, I forgot grand. about that guy. Yeah. <laughs> and Augusta, like, That'd shoves her into her lab. I remembered who it was. And has her lock the door behind him. Mm-hmm. Like, this is, she's like, this is stupid, this is stupid. And it's immediately just goes wrong because the monster's already in the lab because it can teleport wherever it wants to go. Sure, yeah. Um, so now she's locked in the lab with it. There's no Tom Sizemore to save her. Or Tom Selleck. Or Tom Selleck. Oh, that would have been. So. A much different story. <laughs> yeah. They the, could have had a battle of the mustaches. <laughs> <laughs> and the monster. The monster starts, like, rampaging through the lab, so Dr. Green just smashes open all the jars of formaldehyde and whatnot and starts, Which like... Which would make her pass out. It <laughs> <laughs> starts turning on the uh, the sprinklers. To be fair, that's what um, her apartment smells like anyway. <laughs> and she, like, makes some sort of incendiary device out of chemicals. It was water and sodium, mm-hmm. which... She did very quickly and very sloppily, which would have just made it blow well, up in her face. The, yeah. Wasn't it sodium you have to keep in, like, kerosene or something else, and then when it mixes with water, it blows up? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so that's why she put the, the jar of water inside the Oh, other that's jar. right. It was two jars. You're right. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. if there was, like, one drop of water on the outside of that yeah. jar when she poured that sodium in there. Yep. She was toast. Was a mm-hmm. Jaeger bomb. <laughs> so. <laughs> I forgot about that guy. <laughs> Jaeger bomb. All right. So, um. Whatever. It's it's still running around the lab. It's got her, like... It finally finds her on the upper level and, like, pins her against the wall. And she's like, hold on. I'm going to call the dumbwaiter. And it's like, okay. I'll stand here and just kind of drool on you. Well, she was also yeah, giving like it a titties yeah. a little. Here's he was, my... He was also giving her... Yeah. She was also giving it a handy. You know, just yeah, I don't, put it on pause a little no, bit. He, he didn't, like, really interact with her in the beginning, right? No, no. The, the, yeah, what, okay. the guy? Well, that we that we saw. No, we yeah, never even saw. Yeah, we Doctor Whitney okay. could have had a crush on her. Mm-hmm. I, I, well, he could have, but that's it's still like it's a weird moment where she's like, "I know who you are," and then he licks her as if it's like, "Yeah, I, I you know, like, like I was creepy to you at the beginning of the movie, but we don't see it." Pu- so puppet tongue, like it's not hard. You could smear like it was CG tongue. You could smear. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like. You could smear some goop on a puppet tongue, have it lick her, and actually have her be like, like wet. they did in Jurassic Park, yeah. the Lost World. But the no, does. they do just an awful CGI tongue. Yeah. Just oh, it would have been funny yeah. if like the See, tongue caused sexual the, harassment in the workplace. The tongue yeah. causes the titty bullet to go off. <laughs> <laughs> And that would have been interesting. She her in the chest See, she this is one where I was more forgiving because, like, doing the whole tongue bit would be a bit more mm-hmm. tricky as a puppet. Mm-hmm. I was just glad it wasn't a second mouth. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, like, I, and also it's small enough where I'll take that way more than the, just the shitty CGI thing mm-hmm. leaping around and, you know, like, it's fucking Spider Man. Either <laughs> PlayStation way. game. Yeah. She goes down this yeah. little Sorry. elevator, waits for Bishop well, to pick her while, up. While she throws her jar of sodium. Yeah. Uh, and he it, burns forever. Out, yeah, outruns like the fire snow. in a dumb waiter. Um, right, 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 yep. right, right. Like uh, you. So now, Brick, let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. Like, the part where this monster is on fire, <clears throat> mm-hmm. does that level of CGI badness bother you? Because the point where it's like, it's clearly not there. It's clearly not so, on fire. So, so first of all, uh-huh. I did there. not know that it that, that I did not recognize <coughs> that as CGI. What okay. my brain was doing is was, they took a CGI model and actually lit it on fire. <laughs> what, what my brain was doing is I was looking at the fact that it was like completely on fire in a very even way. And I'm like, what would that do? Like, okay, it's got a carapace. Does it care about heat? If it is turning into a lizard, now it's got warmth, but maybe the carapace... Like, that's where my brain was. Yeah. 
So it, it stopped looking at the screen yeah. and started thinking about like, why is it evenly coated in fire? It was and why is it okay with that? Should it be okay with that? It was that? completely saturated in the formaldehyde, which is highly flammable. Mm-hmm. Right, but it, it was oh, like it was wearing a fire coat. It was like perfectly so all she. everywhere. Because yeah. it was completely covered in formaldehyde. So but, is she. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, just, you're not. Um, I'm the king so, of the big dick king. I do. <laughs> Rob's playing with the Rod Jeremy miniature he received earlier today. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, no, I find it interesting because, like, the way the way our logic differs, because I immediately slam into the wall of that's not real, that's not there, it looks terrible, and like my brain isn't start isn't asking any more questions about what's going on in the movie because I just started asking questions. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yep. So I, yeah, you, you have an interesting point about the dichotomy there. At this point, yeah, we, my we all brain have... was just thinking, "Hello, darkness." <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, we all that, have different that points. In a minute for me. <laughs> yeah, we all have different points where the movies we either just like, nope, I'm shutting yep. this off, and we're gonna just go for the ride, or or not, or mm-hmm. you know. So, all right, um, the monsters chasing her now. And this bad CGI burning monster is just smashing through the walls of the different doctor's offices as she's running and has time to close every door behind her. Um, and then she gets into the maceration tank uh, and, and, you know, closes that. I guess it's been off for a while, so that water is probably not warm or anything. Um, but Or disgusting. <laughs> well, it's probably disgusting. Yeah, oh, but, rhino That's chunks. rhino yeah, soup yeah. in there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, uh, like, she climbs in, this thing, like, it goes and it's peeking over the lid as it closes, and she's like, you go to hell! <laughs> you go to Christian hell and you die. Yeah. The fireball <laughs> catches the monster, and it it just falls apart. Like, it it barely even explodes. It, like, collapses into pieces. And you're like, uh, like fireball is not shockwave. Mm. Formaldehyde isn't like an accelerant, but yeah, it's my, not it's not right. a bomb. <laughs> my brain saw that and the only question that I had was what was that supposed to be? Yeah. Well like new what theory. were you trying to do mm-hmm. there? <laughs> new theory and a movie cool way. <laughs> a similar situation with the, the bug earlier. Maybe without knowing, they have also bred into them like one of those explodey buttons for uh, like it were creepers, but I was thinking more like the that uh, um, nice music what was it uh, the battle bot thing, whatever. Fuck, whatever <sighs> damn fuck. it! We were just talking about earlier. Mm-hmm. Whatever giant robot. robot thing, but it had like you know you hit that one spot with a missile and the guy flew out of the castle. Oh, and um, the blast panel. Yeah, blast yeah. panel. Thank you. Whatever. <laughs> Maybe they now have one of those. All right. So- Wow, oh, that was not worth all that. All I, right. <laughs> maybe, because, yeah, this thing just falls apart. Um, of course, green's fine. Uh, fine. Oh, um, it blows fucking DeGusta, like, it blows the security door off the wall, throws him against the wall. He's okay later when they find him. Yeah, it, it did. I think the implication was that it knocked him out. Because mm-hmm. yeah. they find him later, and he's like, bah. <laughs> Um. So... Either way, like the they the cops go, they find him. He goes, f- releases Doctor Green, and you know they're walking out. While uh, the mayor calls the chief of police and is like, "Leave uh, Doctor, leave Augusta alone." You know, or, or he's a you're cool guy. Be back in that squad car. Yeah, I'll put you in a squad car. Doctor Green keeps the lucky bullet. And my last note is that tried way too hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Roll credits as we see the museum. Holy cow. Explode. Explode. I wish. <laughs> Ghostbusters theme. Uh, I was going Godzilla. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. R.E.M. Come with me. Do we need to take a break? Or was that R. Kelly? That was, uh, no, that was oh, um, P. Diddy. Yes. Oh, well, that's right. That was P. Diddy. Paid Jimmy Page enough money to prostitute Kashmir <laughs> so he could sing Come With Me over right. it. Right. Right. Oh. R. Diddy. Sad, sad day. So, uh, do we want to take a break here, or are we just going to charge through? Let's finish this. <laughs> you guys tell me. Yeah, I'm ready to finish this. All right, let's finish. I'm ready strong to finish. finish. Lance Armstrong, finish strong. Mm-hmm. All right. We'll cheat a little bit, though. 
I was too drunk to remember any of how this goes. So, <laughs> on RottenTomatoes.com, critics gave this a score of 37%. That's good. Ooh, good Audience good. gave this a score of 34%. Oh, good. 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 Yep. Wowza. Yep. Yeah, that's their thoughts and opinions. Brick, go. <laughs> Don't watch this movie. Just... John, go. <laughs> <laughs> not not what I remembered. Yeah, no, don't 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 do it. Joe, go. I think I've aired all my grievances already. <laughs> Absolute failure. Rob, go. Yeah, no, it was boring as hell, man. <laughs> yeah, let's just yeah. skip. All right. If you want to watch a movie about a chimerical creature, go back to the thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, easily better. Oh yeah. Right. The 2011 thing was right. better than this. Or movie. you know. Jaws, also. Jaws, yeah. Which is basically what this movie was. Alien. Uh, well, yeah. Alien. 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 Yeah. The thing in Jaws is it mixed together. I, this yeah. is it. I think Joe put it well before when he was like, the elements were there where you could have done something cool. That's as yeah. far well, as yeah. they got. I don't. I, I feel like this This is an okay book. It's probably a book. I do have book, the book. I will, but, I will try to read it. Yeah. yeah. But this is also the, again at least somewhat more in the realm where it's like, if you're going to try and remake something, start, you know, do something more like this. Mm. Not Ghostbusters or, you know, fucking whatever. Just, yeah. here you go. Yeah, don't, yeah. don't and, remake movies that were good oh, to begin with. Yeah. yeah. Oh, now, boy. I did not... Hmm? I think it's your role. Oh, my birthday, my role. Leave it is. I'm gonna fuck this up. Butch, I it's time for my birthday will. beating. Is what you're saying. <laughs> time to pay. You got you got the die. It's by King Ron Jeremy over there. <laughs> this a rock in a hard place. You can choose which one you want to roll there. I'm gonna give the new gold one a try because the uh, the old red and gold. You know, it's it's never rolled anything great for me. Hutta! 15! 15! That's a hearty number. roll. You got nothing! Okay, okay, oh, no. okay, okay. Highway to the Dang Zone. It's 1986's Top Gun! Oh boy! Oh. Shocked we haven't done this one already. Shirtless <laughs> volleyball. Shocked we didn't do this when Maverick yeah, came did. out. I do like the one. I do like the scene where he boils the egg. Oh god! I mean, what? I like the scene where he like fries an egg on her. Nope. That's hot shots. Nope. Keep okay. moving. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I believe he also fires yep. a Spanish olive out of her navel <laughs> into her mouth. Yes. <clears throat> okay. All right. That's how Guys, I do it. Thank you so so much for listening to our little. Humble little podcast. Yes. Um, don't be a gerbil. Uh, give us a give us a follow on the old uh, wherever you find podcasts at. Tell us um, how much we suck. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> feel free to shoot us an email. Tell us how bad you think we are. Especially if you're an ape. Especially if you're an ape. <laughs> or just no, a dirty, dirty bitch. Um, so, or dirty bitch. <laughs> okay. We want to thank you so much, guys. We do appreciate all of our listeners. If you if you'd rather us watch a different movie, you can sponsor an episode. This is also very true. All <laughs> the uh, all the pertinent information will be in a little blurb at the end of the episode. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Adios. Bye bye. Those fucking tunnels would have made a better movie. Good night, everybody. Hey everybody, thanks so much for listening. If you enjoyed the episode, please subscribe, and if possible, leave a review. If you have questions, comments, or would like to sponsor an episode, email us at the4ampodcast at gmail.com. And if you want to support the show, you can buy a t-shirt, hoodie, and more at Teespring. Or gain access to exclusive content by becoming a patron at patreon.com slash 4ampodcast. Thanks again for listening. See you next time.